Sunday. Right, right, right. So, YouTube going live now, and Twitch. Martin's PC. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the thing, don't send it to that. <laughs> because the camera's still and there was nothing on it. Danny to come in the YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah. What's the chat? I can't hear my headphones. Is my headphones. Chat, 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 chat. 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 I can. Unless it's just really quiet. Ladies and gents, let us know if we're coming through. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I need to change the audio level. Sorry. <laughs> if you take it, I'll send it. I'll send it to Danny. Are we Gucci? Yeah. Right, you can't hear yourself at all, no? Because uh, I can uh, hear me. I've got a hood on though, so maybe maybe that's... How thick's your hood? Because I've got the same hood on as you. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Same. <laughs> it should be the same result, right? Yeah. Uh, did you come off that Audio bit? is very loud. Yeah, sorry, it was on the same It was on the same audio level as last. You know, yesterday, using the same camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. We're back. Sorry. Good morning. How Re are we? Rest in peace, headphone users. Welcome, guys. Got a few planes flashing out, which is good timing. It's been a little bit quiet setting up, um, so yeah, we kind of waited off. around a little bit. We we were pretty much ready to go live at, at, on the hour. Uh, we waited a little bit. Uh, Martin did a little bit of housekeeping, which we'll talk about soon. Yes. Um, Unfortunately, these this new housekeeping that I'm going to show you won't be available sh straight away. Okay. But it it will be available uh, this evening. Yep. We've just had a uh, delivery, guys. Just had a fantastic delivery literally come just through. Now. Literally just now, yeah. Just, just like literally in the last few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excited. I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, can you still not hear yourself? I can now, yeah. You can? Yeah, okay, yeah. sweet. It's fine. Okie okay, okay. Um Right, just need to get some uh, data on here. Let's have a look. Apparently, um, I think stickers are coming today as well. So Andy is low. Uh, Loopy saying. And he's low, Roger. That should I'm now low. be fixed. There we go, yeah. I can hear myself now. Nice. There we go. Appreciate that, Loopy. Yeah, if, 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 if uh, ever me, Martin, or the aircraft audio is low or loud, uh, let us know. Cheers, yeah, Loopy. don't be shy, guys. It's uh, it's usually a very easy fix and something that we've just potentially overlooked, like uh, yeah. like we did then. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, right, let's get in the old chat. Hopefully, I have chat coming through now. We have a Jet 2737 lining up on the runway. We went live because there's a Singapore A350 currently on the move, and it's currently at Julia 1, yep. uh, which is the start of 2-3 rides here at Manchester Airport. They're on 2-3s today. It feels like they're always on 2-3s these days. I've not seen them on 0 5s for a while now. Um, and obviously here at the runway, visit to park 2-3s is absolutely fine. Yep. Especially for the arrivals as well. And let us know how the audio sounds for the aircraft. But here we go, Jet 2 737 on the roll.
Jetsu 73 using a lot of runway as they usually do, the 737s in the Jetsu fleet. So not 100% sure as to why, but I'm assuming it's just uh, de-rating the aircraft as to be a bit more efficient and use use that sweet, sweet uh, long Manchester runway. It's their advantage. How are we doing, guys? Are we all good in the hood? Sounds great. Excellent. Singapore is next out A350 to Houston, I think. Nice. Without looking. We see this every time, don't we? It's we do. It's always, always quite early. It's a uh, good shout. Good start to the show. Living it large with a 449 Super Chat Bing Bong. Say, morning, guys. It was a pleasure to meet you last Sunday. Hope you're both doing all right. Nice one, mate. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it was nice to meet you, too. And Nate Dog, welcome to business class, mate. Business class support. There is one on approach, so this Singapore needs to get uh, moving pretty quick. It does. Look, we got uh, the lights of another aircraft visible. You guys see it just there? Yeah, you see it. Which it looks like a... Nice early start today, yep. We're uh, yeah, about 10 minutes earlier than usual today, aren't we? Well, yeah, and um, obviously we have uh, quite a big community these days, and it's amazing to see the proactiveness of them, you know? Yeah. And um, I, I jumped into the live stream on the hour, so half an hour before we went live, which I wouldn't expect anyone to be in the chat room at that point, but there were 73 people in there. All talking and having a wonderful time. Half an hour before we went live. So yeah. Singapore is now rolling. A350-900. There he is. Yaz Danny is in the chat. Yaz Danny, big man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, she's heavy. Well, I ate and laugh. <laughs> Morning. Just in time as the uh, next aircraft is about to touch down, but uh, Singapore just gliding off the runway there. Yeah, great sound as well from the 350. And after this aircraft, ladies and gents, we have a couple of, quite a few new things to show you, actually. Yeah, we we've been busy for. this we week. Have. We've been very busy. <laughs> and we're very happy to... Uh, oh, very thankful, I guess, for the... Uh, memorabilia fair because it's really got our backsides in gear to get some merch sorted out. Yeah, and some good merch. NASA Brussels just touching down. So, ladies and gents, let's get a yay or nay if we want to see the brand new merch in the chat, guys. Yep, let us know. There's more than one thing, I will say. There is. There is one, two, five things to show, oh I guess. Oh my gosh, five Completely five things, things to show today with at least another two or three things coming in the next day or two, guys. <laughs> Very excited. Yeah. Man, we've been busy. Yeah. We were here at the airport yesterday as well, filming. We were. In, in the very cold winds and all sorts. Everyone in the chat excited to see it. Right, guys, let me get my glove on, because my hand's going to fall off. <laughs> Just your one glove. So you want, Yeah, well, I suppose one glove's probably sensible so that I can operate the screen. So, ladies and gents, big shout out to Mr. Yaz Danus in the chat. I'm not going to disclose too much about where we work with Yaz Danny because, uh, listen, he's one of the best, and we don't want to share him with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but... Ladies and gents, Yaz has done some fantastic work for us again. Now, if you don't know, guys, Yaz has actually designed all of our merch on Airliners Live. All of the designs have been done by Yaz um, over in the... Uh, Got a Virgin 330 as well, but we'll, nice, we'll go we'll to be that quick. soon. We'll be quick. Um, so, Yaz has done a few designs for us. Now, as you know, we've been spending a lot of time at Harden, guys, and uh, we had to do a Beluga design. It was, without doubt... The first one we wanted to do so design number one which is coming to the airliners live store this evening guys is a brand new xl design bosch yes. there it is look at this guys go back a little bit go back a bit yeah we there? that's pretty good yeah we're good we can see it yeah now ladies and gentlemen let's get some hype yay or nays in the chat first design is going to be the beluga xl which uh we're super super happy with that's uh 
that's a 10 out of 10 t-shirt i cannot wait to wear that t-shirt guys yeah, that's cool so that's coming straight to the shop very very soon and ladies and gents now i will say probably our favorite design that yaz has done for us this time now the brief we gave to him was um we wanted a design where basically the a380 for us on the channel is a big spectacle it's always the star of the show it's always what everyone's waiting for so we're yeah. like right let's make it andy came up with the idea like let's make it like a movie poster <laughs> like an old classic movie poster yeah we're always excited to see the a380 we sent some ideas to yaz and he's like listen guys i've got it yeah I'd, I'd, i'll sort you out and he's come back with ladies and gents probably my favorite design of the channel so far ladies and gents yeah it's pretty the unique king you will not see a t-shirt like this anywhere else he's absolutely smashed it guys bosh look at this oh <laughs> yo that is sick that is so so good look at this guys yeah. airline is live on there as well airline is live on there the king I How love that. 10 out of 10 does that look, guys? Yeah, I love that. What yeah. do you reckon? Yay or nay in the chat for the new The King A380 t-shirt coming to the Airliners Live store this evening, ladies and gents. Now that is 10 out of 10. Yeah. I love that. How mental is that, guys? Amazing. Right, so we, we'll jump to the aviation for a bit <laughs> and then we'll talk about the rest of them in a moment, I reckon, as well. Let's get some love out. Yaz is actually in the chat, guys, who designed all this stuff for us. So let's show him some love, ladies and gents. If you really, really like it. Yeah, it's really good. Look he at everyone getting hyped in the chat. There you go, Yaz. I, I told you, I said to him, he delivered it about 10 minutes ago. And I said, mate, that is so good. I'm going to show it on stream straight away. Here's a link to the YouTube chat. I said, get you in. Have a look <laughs> at everyone enjoying it. There you go. Guys, if you're still in the chat, thank you, mate. Um, yeah, amazing work again, man. You, you always absolutely smash it. Everything we ask you to do, you come back with something that's better than what we expected, man. So, nice one, dude. Appreciate you a lot. Right, so we got an EasyJet uh, A320 Neo here from Paris Charles de Gaulle. Quite a short flight, that. It's only uh, just over an hour long. It departed an hour and seven minutes ago, and now it's coming into land at Manchester Airport. We've also got a, it looks like a Jet 275 on the taxi out as well. As well as a Virgin Atlantic A330, which is becoming quite a, a common plane we see here in Manchester, I will say. Um, there is talks about Virgin starting a new route out of Manchester, and that is to Antalya in yeah. Turkey, which I think makes a lot of sense. It's a, a route that uh, Thomas Cook used to fly quite a lot of, uh, and Monarch as well, I believe. Uh, obviously using uh, wide-body aircrafts on that route. So obviously the demand's there. I think it's usually around May that that sort of route would pick up in popularity because generally Turkey before uh, the month of May is a bit of a bit of an off-season time, I guess you could call it. It's until May where the weather picks up and it starts to get pretty warm and a lot of tourists move in. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate that, mate. So yeah, we're seeing more and more Virgin Atlantic 330s in Manchester, um, such as routes to, I believe, JFK. I'm trying to think where else they fly to. It's obviously Lorlando is another one. Uh, Barbados, uh, which is Bridgetown, uh, and Islamabad as well. Which is awesome to see. And obviously there's room for expansion there, right? Yeah, 100%. So A330 lining up. The King is over Milton Keynes. It's early today, so it might actually leave on time. Nice <laughs> one. Oh, okay, nice one, Peter. That's ambitious, right? Twitch chat loving the design as well. Did I hear Merch has Snake in the chat? He certainly did. Matty boy, nice to see you, mate. How are you doing? Yes. Well, so what's the situation? The clothing obviously isn't on the store yet. So the clothing's not on the store. The next thing we've got to show you, though, is on the store. Yeah. And we'll show you that in a few minutes' time after this A330, guys.
I've got my uh, knee brace on today. Oh yeah. For the first time. I don't know if it's going to do anything or not. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Find out tomorrow morning, won't you? Yeah. Oh, beautiful ribbons there on the wingtips as the aircraft rotated. Off to the United States of America, the Virgin Atlantic A330. Again, we're seeing more and more of these these days here at Manchester, which is very welcome. We love the 330s. They make great Certainly sounds. Do. They look great. They sound great. Obviously, they they produce these beautiful ribbons here at Manchester with the the sort of uh, damp climate we have. Hugo, thanks for the three pound uh, three dot twenty CHF do donation. Uh, thanks for keeping Oscar company during isolation. No worries, mate. Pleasure. Now people are asking for the merch link in the chat, which means they're gonna go and have a sneaky look of what we're about to announce. <laughs> Listen, no go meta gaming in my channel, please. <laughs> go spoil it for yourself. Sorry, it's a Jetsu A three twenty one. It is. The original celebrity we called her, um, Golf Hotel Lima Yankee Foxtrot. And Danny, if you're still in the chat, mate, uh, just send us a final delivery, dude, and I'll uh, I'll get that accepted for you. But yes, there was a Jet 275 taxiing out to Tenerife. That's going to be out uh, in view soon. Quite a lot of aircraft moving here on the ground right now. The Jet 2 you're looking at now is a Jet 2 A321. Uh, and that is bound for Lanzarote. Beautiful destination down there, Lanzarote. I believe Owen Flemo was uh, down there last week. Oh, nice. Doing a bit of uh, photography. And Stone saying, glad you're streaming today. Looking forward to seeing my friend arrive on the A380 from Dubai soon. Cool. Nice, dude. Give us a wave. Hey, up, Gordon. Courtney, hello. Hello, hello. Morning, Courtney. everyone's had a good week obviously we've not been live midweek this week we did consider it i know he did mention it on the weekend saying that um there's a potential for a midweek show now that was only going to go ahead if there was a uh, sort of one of two outcomes i guess if the traffic picked up enough yeah. to do a midweek show here in manchester or we ended up going to barton um manchester city airport but sadly uh none of them came to fruition the traffic levels midweek here sort of tuesday wednesday thursday are pretty uh Pretty darn, pretty darn low compared to oh, Friday. Oh gosh, yeah, we, we were out yesterday and it was so quiet, guys. Yeah. Uh, Craig Naylor, thanks very much for eight months of first class membership, Craig. Nice oh, one. Oh, nice one, Craig. And Jane, thanks for the five super chat saying, put this towards coffee, guys. Thank you, Jane. I think we'll need that today. Yeah, it'd be nice. It is chilly today, but the wind isn't there. Like yesterday, it was 10 degrees Celsius, which, to be honest, it isn't that bad. And I didn't wear that many layers yesterday as a result. Mm. It was a wind, wasn't it? The wind was freezing. It was just cutting you in half. Yeah. Really cold winds yesterday. So it just shows. And today, I think, is a lot lower in temperature. But there's no wind, so it feels a little bit warmer. It's very strange. Amazing. Hey, there he is. As Danny saying, thanks uh, for all the love, you guys. No problem, mate. Appreciate you. Whoa, what's that donation? <laughs> what is Aviation that? enthusiast saying, I love your work with the 400... Is that uh, rubles or rupees? Rupees, I, I think that is it. Be, is it? Let us know in the chat, guys. Appreciate it, though. Thank you very much for the kind uh, donation. And uh, Big Engine Club saying, uh, accountants prefer Boeings with the 757 donation as we see a, <laughs> a Jet 275 on the way down. Yeah, there's a 75. We haven't seen a 75 uh, this week personally so it'd be good to see that again oh look at him <laughs> look at him a picture of him let's be quick
Now is that? There goes British Airways flight 1389, which is the shuttle service down to London Heathrow. I believe they are planning on restarting the shuttle service down to Gatwick soon. Okay. Um, I believe at least in the summer they are looking at doing so. So that'll definitely increase the number of British Airways uh, shuttle flights we see in the week. Um, also, Matt just pointing out um, that we may have missed a upgrade while we were doing the little uh, talk about the 380 design uh, merch. Uh, John Neal upgrading his membership to first class. So thank you so much, John. Really do appreciate that. Plenty of uh, support in the chat this morning. Really do appreciate it. Hope you've all had an amazing week, and I hope you're all ready for the weekend, of course. We certainly are. And uh, I'm not going to say where we're going, but should we tease that we're going to be doing an another live show midweek next week? Yeah. From some other airport, ladies and gents. I'm not going to say where. Yeah. But... This coming week, um, so uh, Tuesday and potentially Wednesday, we will be doing midweek shows from somewhere else that's not Manchester. I'll let you guys use your imagination as to where we're going. Phil Sellers, thanks for the six months of business class. Appreciate you, mate. Thank you so much. So that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday. Then we'll be back for the Fry Yay show next week. Then on Saturday, we've got the memorabilia fair. Yeah. That we'll be attending. Very um, busy week this week. I know, running a, a stand for. And then Sunday we'll be doing the usual Sunday show. So this week coming will be very busy. A busy start to February for us. Mark, thank you very much for the £10 super chat saying superb show. Looking forward to seeing the Emirates arrive very soon. Cheers, dude. Flying on it on the first. There goes another Jet 2, 737. Plenty of Jet 2s today. I don't think we've seen a single Jet 2 when we were here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Thursday's their day off. And Tui as well. I don't think we've seen any Tui's. Tui usually depart with a couple of Dreamliners in the morning. And then you'll see the odd 737 in the day. I used to see 757s as well. Dave would say in, uh, it's a bit foggy. In Bristol, not sure if the rest of the country is going the same way. I must admit, it's a little bit hazy here today, but it's a nice amount. Yeah, you can still see the moors and things, you know, yeah. back there. So, and that jet two that just departed the seven three seven eight hundred flight eight seven nine is off to Alicante. And Mister Will P with a five pound super chat, Bing Bong. So, in morning, Martin and Andy, great start to the show with the merch. Listen, we've not finished yet. We've yeah, not finished yet. We get this seven five seven out, and then we'll. Uh, We'll uh, show you what else we've got. We've just um, accepted the order from Danny. Sent him a nice tip as well, Danny. We've sent you a bit of a tip for that, mate, as well, for a smashing design. And next up, ladies and gents, we've got a little bit more merch to yeah, show you. Now in person. It's an actual physical thing we can show you. Yep. This is a Jet 2 Flight 917 off to Tenerife. Gulf Lima Sierra Alpha India on the registration of this old bird. Wow, a beautiful bit of ribbon action there from the wingtips of the 757. You don't usually see that. Beautiful. We do love the 757, a great sound from, from hair as well. Beautiful bird. Yeah, you Mrs. Airliners Live wants me to show the video with Harry uh, demonstrating yeah, what yeah. it is, so I'll show that as well. But what we'll do first, we'll show you, ladies and gents. So, there's a few designs. Mr. Brownville came up with the idea of doing a um like a valentine's day something silly <laughs> listen it's not like it's yeah. not soppy guys it's not anything like oh yeah here you go this is a silly present yeah. for valentine's day now 
but it's going to be it, it's cool I, it's a dad joke if you love dad jokes then yeah and also this kind of came about through a, a, a trip that you made to Harden yeah where you seen at the same time two belugas yeah now we'll we'll, we'll let you have a look at the picture and see if you can recognise the uh, the <laughs> what does that say Whale you be my valentine <laughs> <laughs> and then if you keep going we got are you sure <laughs> <laughs> and it's the two belugas crossing over and it kind of looks like they're kissing so there you go that gave us if the you want to give a little plane spotter a bit of a silly uh you know a bit of a silly present for valentine's yeah. day guys they're available in the store whether now. it's your valentine's or not many a, not many of those to sell so we didn't we didn't order many so if you do want one there's probably about like 12 on sale at the moment so yeah do get them ordered soon um Next up, we've gone classic with the logo design, guys. Yeah. A lot of you were asking for new logo mugs with a brand new logo on them. Uh, so they've arrived. Nice red interior as they well, look which smart, looks then, smart, don't they? Them, yeah, don't they? with the red handle as well. Jeez. Yeah, so I love brand that. new logo design. They are available in the store as well, guys. Um, they're in stock as well, so we'll literally be shipping them straight away. Yeah, I love now, the, in the, the red inside. Like, that's red actually, inside as well. Yeah, really smart. Now, we thought we'd do something a little bit special for the VIPs as well. Oh yeah, we haven't. We need to work out how we're going to sell these because we need to keep them. This is a VIP, VIP only. This is a VIP exclusive for you guys with tower badges next to your name and yeah. same in uh, the Twitch chat as well. This is for you guys. So there's the um, the front, but then on the back we've got proud supporter of airliners live with yes. the VIP badge on there, ladies and gents. Oh. So. That's going to be available only for VIPs to purchase. I uh, love it. We need to work out how we're going to do that. So that's not on the website yet. Um, I'll have a look this evening on how we can make that work. Um, what we might do is put these on the website at like £100 <laughs> and then give <laughs> a big it, discount yeah, code that's a really good idea, for the actually. VIPs. So. Or if you want to buy, if you want to spend £100 on them, then there you go. <laughs> the options there. But, um, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's Brand a really new. good idea. I like that. Brand new mugs. Now, when Mrs. Airliners Live opened up these mugs, a certain Bing and Bong were very excited to see them. They were. And uh, Mr. Harry decided he would um, he would get involved in the little show and tell. Because while we were out filming... Um, there you go. You're a... Uh TJ saying, ah, it's a Concorde in the VIP design. Exactly. certainly it's, is. We, we, we got inspired by the Delta Wing design of Concorde. And... Put that into our VIP. Yeah. So I asked uh, I asked Jen to send us videos because we were out filming at the time. I uh, just want to check if it's this one. No, it's not that one. I think it's the last one that she sent. And uh, here it is, guys. Come on. Do you see? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves that mug, doesn't he? Look at him. <laughs> well, there you go. I'll uh, I'll be clear that that's my mug, guys. That's not the one we're going to send to anyone with Harry's <laughs> nose all over it. But um, but yeah, Harry was very impressed with um, <laughs> with the uh, the new designs. There you go. That was a quality control check. Now, oh. for those of you wondering, we've also got um, new car stickers on the way. Oh yeah. Um, which we will announce in the next couple of days. So loads and loads of merch coming. And just to be uh, clear, guys, all of this, as long as it doesn't sell out beforehand, will be available to purchase at the memorabilia fair on Saturday. Yes. We're going to be there from 10am. Uh, it opens at 10am. Um, so come down and see us. We're going to have a table there. You shouldn't be able to miss us. Um, the team will be there. We'll have a table. Come over, say hello. Um, and potentially buy yourself some merch as well, and guys. tap our, our new cards as well. Yes. Have you got that with you? Though? I have got the new cards. It's in this bag somewhere. Okay. But we've got new cards as well where we can just tap the card on your phone and it basically opens our links for you. So you don't even have to ask us where the channel is. You just tap your phone and just it's like subscribe. It's an NFC thing, isn't it? It just sends a link to your phone. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to be poor this weekend, says living it large. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Don't spend more than you feel you can. <laughs> yeah, but if you do want to uh, grab some merch, guys, then that's the way to do it. And like I say, the new A380 design is on the way. Yeah, I'm hyped for I'm that. So hyped for that, that for a t-shirt and, and a hoodie is going to be, mate. I can't wait to yeah. get one of those on. Yeah. 
I'm trying to think what I'd prefer. Like, obviously a hoodie I'd wear more this time of year. I think that design goes better on a t-shirt, though. Yeah, you? I was thinking that, yeah. Yeah. So, it is what it but is. But then again, I wear Airlines Life hoodies all day long, so... Yeah. It definitely gets its use. Certainly does. Certainly does. Uh, we've got a Ryanair on approach here. It's a Ryanair flight 3227 from Oslo. Okay, okay. We've also got an easy jet pinging up on the ground as well. And the usual Middle East three are on the way in. I think the Etihad of the three is running pretty late today. <laughs> is it? Yeah, so I don't know if that'll be in till, till uh, God, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. That's all right. We can... Where is it on the map? Uh, that's the Emirates. Oh, that's the Emirates I've clicked on. I was wondering why the time said uh, so soon. Uh, I seen them at Etihad. It had a big, big red dot next to it saying delayed. Oh, the two E started t uh, pinging up as well on the ground here. Seven three seven max eight. So we'll see that soon, and that's off to Tenerife as well. A lot of Canary Island action. As you'd imagine, this time of year, everyone jetting off to warmer climates. I think two people I know personally are, are in the Canary Islands right now. One in Tenerife and one in, I think, Fuerteventura. Sent me a video yesterday of them jet skiing, which looked like a lot of fun. I've never been on a jet ski before. I have. Have you? Are they fast? Fast. Are they fast? Wow. Yeah. I couldn't imagine, like, a boat being, like... Mate, you, well, it's, it's not like a boat, is it? You're just yeeting around. <laughs> I'd love to try one. Love it. They're really good fun. They've always just been a bit pricey for what... Like, you look at, like, you know, hiring a boat for an hour, you know, and you're looking at jet skis, mm. and the next to the jet ski stand, they have, like, the pedalo stand. Which so you like, always go for the pedalo. Yeah, like, it's, like, 10 euros for an hour for a pedalo, or, like, 100... Euros for a jet ski, you're like, mm. wow. Etihad's literally only just left Abu Dhabi an hour and a half ago. Right. It's not due in for nearly six hours, guys. Yeah, it'd be dark. So, uh, yeah, we won't be live for that, I'm afraid. There you go. Yeah, Matt, Matt put an update on that on in the VIP, in the VIP, sorry, the mod chat. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll go on a jet ski. It looks like a lot of fun, though. Yeah. But uh, very shortly, I think we can actually see it on the downwind leg, Andy, there. The A380, look. No way, can we actually? Can you zoom in on that, see if that's a 380? I can't even see it with my Wait, own eyes. Look. Is it above? The, above the, uh, oh, yeah, I see it, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, God. This will be the first time we've seen it from this far There out. it is. Yeah. Is that it? Let's try and get the, I don't know, try and get the camera to focus. There we go. Looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, yes. there you go. Wow. <laughs> what a view. Mega. What a spot, by the way, because I... There's no way I was seeing that. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Ryanair, you've had your, uh, your spotlight stolen. <laughs> Now that just shows off the zoom we've got here on Airliners Live. We don't mess around, ladies and gents. Can you follow this the whole way in? How crazy would that be? We'll try, but I think we're going to lose it when it goes onto the ILS. I agree, yeah. But as we say, guys, mugs are available to purchase straight away in the VIP store. If you want to order that or if you want to wait till Saturday and come down and purchase it in person um, just so you know we're gonna have a card machine available um, yeah for contactless payments and card payments so if you uh, you don't have to bring cash with you we do have a card uh, facility available guys hype yeah considering we said we weren't gonna spend much money on this memorabilia <laughs> fair we've actually spent quite a lot well originally just going to use this as sort of like an advertising thing and just a meet and greet yeah but we've ended up just ordering a bit of merch as well just so we've got something to to transact and keep us busy i guess there you go, living it large as i'll be there on saturday to get my vip mug you yeah. know what should we should we make the mugs available to vips from saturday onwards <laughs> i know i'm just worried so what i'm worried about is um, people who can't come 
people can't come and also if we sell out before then as well so yeah. if people come down with the anticipation of ordering a VIP mug and then we're all sold out I mean we can order more we can we can always reserve some as well if you want to reserve anything just let us know will you be doing discount at the fair for members yep yep Lovely post off our best friend getting in the way there. But it's it's losing focus and that's because it's sort of going into the clouds now. It's hard to see it anymore. Mm -hmm. Just about to see it though. Just about. There you go. Just on the uh, the base leg now. You can see it's side on. Yep. 90 degrees or sort of 30 degrees from the runway right now. The Emirates E380. A long bit of footage there for you to watch the approach almost all the way. We just lose it here when it goes behind the Premier Terminal. But we will see it again soon, do not worry. Great stuff though. Nice and early today, the Emirates A380. Here on the ground, a Logan Air has just pinged up, flight uh, nine, six, sorry, 694. And that's going to be off to the Isle of Man. That's an ATR-72. Uh, I think that's already been pushed back. And there's also an EasyJet. 6-9er uh, November Romeo. A320 Neo. And that's got no destination on, uh, on radar. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Could be a bit of maintenance. But it does have a call sign. Cut the post down. Yeah, we wish. <laughs> Do not the whole post, just the top of it. There's nothing on the top. I know, they got a camera on there, right? I might, uh And then just a, you know. Just one of them small trade-offs, though. You know, you, you've all seen streams from the likes of Heathrow and things like that, where lamppost central and, you know, there's fences and... Yeah. buildings in the way I think we to... are very lucky here that literally yeah. in the whole 180 degrees of viewership we have there's one post there's that one causes post. trouble yeah 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 exactly so I'm not really complaining and to be honest that causes trouble based on the location that we're using as well um, yeah. obviously if we were in the hut uh, then, then we wouldn't have this, this issue at the moment but here we go the 380 is coming back into view there just behind the Premier Terminal. Morning, Van Man. Captain Paul D's just purchased his cup, and someone else, four orders today, guys. Everyone's buying four mugs. Four orders already, wow, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run out of stock too quick, but I guess just if you want to order mugs, and you, you really want them, <laughs> get them ordered today, because, uh, yeah, just in case we do run out of stock. I mean, listen, if we do run out of stock and there's a lot of people who still want them, guys, we'll, we'll order some more. It may just mean you just have to wait a week or exactly, so yeah. to get them. Don't worry if you uh, if you miss out today. Yep. The website only ships to the UK. If you are international, watching from the US, somewhere in Europe or whatever, um, get in touch with us via email or... Through the website, we have a contact uh, form you can use. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll make sure we get some merch sent out to you. Don't worry, just uh, drop us a message. Yeah. But anyway, Emirates A380 on the final approach. Oh, Paul D, we, we would never use Hermes, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Do not worry about that, son. I don't think it's worth the headache, right? <laughs> no. There we go, guys. Enjoy this arrival. The Emirates A380, nice and early today. Inbound from Dubai. And that left uh, seven and a half hours ago. And it's a uh, five-year-old A380 in a flight today of three and a half thousand miles. Hey, Tana. Yeah, Paul. No worries, mate. Yeah. 
Double tap shift weird things on the phone you're using. Certainly was a greasy landing on the A380 here at Manchester Airport, the star of the show. And the feature of one of the many merch drops we've had today as well. Yeah. The king of the skies. Yeah, as Danny, if you're still in the chat, mate, this is the aircraft. The beautiful beast from the east. <laughs> Loopy just mentioning that we hit 2,000 viewers as well. That's awesome. And Nicholas Phelps, welcome to Premium Economy. Welcome. Thank you so much for your membership. And if you're just joining us, make sure you hit the like button on YouTube as well. That really helps us out a lot. Get ready for an awesome view of the Emirates A380-800 taxiing past us. What are you trying to say, Al Smith? I think my camera was fine, thank you very glad. <laughs> it's one of my alt accounts, that, you know. I oh, know. Al Smith is going full sender. <laughs> Martin's on the camera now, he's doing I a know. good job. You know what I mean? You didn't, didn't realise that, did you? <laughs> and whoa, we have a mega, mega bong. Ladies and gents, you know what to do. Mega bong alert in the chat. Ladies and gents from the regular Mega Bonger himself, Mr. Kevin, with a 50 pal super chat saying a morning at Martin and Andy and the mods. A little donation to the channel, keep up the great work, says yeah. Kevin D. With a regular Mega Bong Bong Bong. Wow, look how look on, on radar right now. I mean, the aircraft are pinging up Ooh. on the ground here at Manchester Airport. It's getting really busy. This is like rush hour at Manchester. Look at the gear, says Pilot News. We can zoom in on the landing gear, mate. No worries. Yeah, the gear is pretty crazy. And the, the very back wheels right there you see in there in shot also help with the steering. They, they, uh, they steer counter to the front wheels to aid with the lowering the turning circle of the, the Super Jumbo. Thanks again, Kevin, for the uh, huge yeah. support with the Mega Bong Super Chat. Thank you so much, Kevin. Really appreciate it. And thank you for the donation towards our charity fundraiser. Yes. Which isn't live yet. Uh, it's not even a thing yet. Uh, but he wants to give us an early early donation to that when we come around to it. Is that the same Kevin? Because that was Kevin D, right? Maybe. I think Might so, be yeah. a different Kevin. I think Paula, thank Kevin. you very much for the Premium Economy membership as well, Bing Bong. Welcome to VIP. 
thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate the, the mega bong though, that is huge. Like, yeah man, awesome, thank uh, you so much. And the fact that's a regular thing, it just makes it even more crazy. Yeah, just like, even just that, that mega bong there is just like, that's covered the data for the day, mate. Covered so, a lot, covered so a lot of things, doesn't it? Yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, Tap Air Portugal 1312. Embraer 190 from Lisbon in Portugal. I'm a big fan of them colours on the Embraer. It's a nice livery. And Adam Salmon, thank you very much for the 179 Super Chat saying happy Friday all. Happy Friday to you, mate, as well. Cheers, Adam. Appreciate it. So we have the 2737 Max 8 now rolling on the runway. Oh, so it is the same person. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Yes, we did, Kevin. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, we, we did go and collect up. that. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a huge donation to the charity stream this year. To Max. That's on its way to Tenerife. Nice. Them huge scimitar winglets at the end of the, the wings there looking really nice. Yes, yeah, so he donated... Uh, live on stream on Sunday, just gone. He came up to us and gave us the receipts for a purchase he just made in the aviation shop here at the Runway Visitor Park. Uh, he purchased a uh, Gemini Jets, so a really good model brand. We love them. One of 200 scale. Uh, Emirates A380. Like Kevin, that is huge. I really appreciate it. You, gonna, you're getting the card out. We're going to test them. We got these yes, yesterday. Hold on. So, we got a smartphone, yeah? So if you, <laughs> you might need to turn the NFC on onto one's oh, phone. Yeah, yeah, think. Oh, can you scan that with your camera? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll say, oh, yeah, you can't do that. Uh, so that's a huge donation. And that is not going to the channel. That's going towards the fundraiser that we do every year. Uh, so uh, annually on Airliners Live we do a big, uh, one big community effort of a fundraiser raising money for usually uh, more than one charity, usually two, uh, usually um, uh, Macmillan Cancer Support and a local charity <laughs> and um, that will be used as a, 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 a prize for anyone to win who donates a certain amount or over. Yeah, mega, mega nice one, mate. Great, yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers, pal. There we go. Let's use the new car. Did it work? Did the NFC work, or is it just a uh, QR? I don't think it had NFC on, so uh, yeah. use a QR. So that's good that it's got the like, backup of the QR on that. Because like on my phone, you've got to you can turn NFC off, you know, to like save battery. Ah, uh, right. So okay. I feel like a lot of people, where is it? Can you can you do it? Maybe you can't. I don't know. Maybe it's that nearby share thing, I don't know. My old phone definitely could anyway. Extra dim, I didn't know I had that, that sounds really good. That'd be good at night time, that. Yeah. Because even like my phone at like the lowest brightness is still a bit too bright when it's like pitch black. I also admit, I, when I watch, I usually put like videos on when I'm trying to get to sleep. Yeah. And I have my phone on like literally the minimum brightness yeah, 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 it can yeah. go. Yeah, to the point where you can't even really see it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's just like an audio book at that point. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. Next out, we've got an Air France to Charles de Gaulle. And Heather B, thank you very much for the $10 super sticker. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cheers, Heather. Cheers, weird things. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, Pilot Alec, welcome from Prague. Hope you're doing well. And yeah, Jim, loving the uh, tap colours in the sun. Brand new Lufthansa livery on the taxi out as well. Yeah. I say brand new. I mean, it's not anymore, is it? But... Yeah, yeah, it's a newer one. It's a bit like the Aer Lingus one, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, pretty similar, especially in terms of design. It's just the colours that are different, right? 
I think a lot of business airlines are doing this. Uh, sort of flag carriers are doing the whole, we just colour the tail in, and that's yeah. it. But one airline that hasn't done that, KLM. Aer Lingus A330 pinging up to Bridgetown. That's just been pushed back as well, so we'll be seeing that very shortly. Nice. <laughs> you eating sideways down the well. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Drift, in it? No worries, Ali. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the sun's starting to burn through the uh, the clouds now, which is yep. quite cool. We're starting to get a little bit of sun. But well, welcome to the Friday show. You're watching Airliners Live, ladies and gents. Great yep. to have you with us this morning. Welcome back if you're uh, a returning viewer, and welcome to the community if you are a new viewer as well. And don't forget to hit that like button as well. It really helps us out a lot it in does. terms of the the algorithm and all that good stuff. And it's also free to hit as well, so why wouldn't you? Apparently there's a flyby about to pass over us. Now that would be good to see. Let's have a look on the map for that. Uh, can, we, can we get a touch and go? Summer is coming, yes. I hope so. I hope it's a little bit better than last summer, because I don't think the weather was like amazing last summer. The summer before that, 2020, gosh, that was like, wow, that was so good. Oh, guys, it's not passing over us. It's very far over. So uh, is that just doing is that? So that's going to be in that direction over there. Yeah. We'll he's he's going to be above the clouds, guys, I think. It's going to Birmingham. Yeah. That'd be great to see, though. We'll keep an eye on it, but I, I very much doubt we'll see that, guys. Sorry. The the aircraft would have to be sort of below 10,000 feet, I think, to see that. Yep. EasyJet A320 to Geneva now rolling. Flight 21949. And behind that, we have the uh, Istanbul service, uh, Turkish A321 Neo, uh, currently on the ILS, about 1500 feet. Colin D, good morning. They're going to get the Lufthansa out first, it looks like, before the Turkish departs. It's Lufthansa 2501, off to Munich. It's the Airbus A319. Now lined up. It's already rolling by the looks of it. Yeah, it is. No waiting around. Plenty of merch orders coming through, by the way, ladies and gents. Thank you, guys. So I'm assuming they're all mugs. I've not looked into them. Mikey D saying, great show. It makes working from home on a Friday much more enjoyable. Cheers, sellers. No worries, Mikey. Great to have oh. you with us. Yeah, no visual on the flyby, guys. Sorry. It's a little bit smaller than the 380. <laughs> yeah. <just a> <laughs> it's a Dash 8, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, classic. Hey up Stagger Lee, thanks so much for tuning in. And Terry tuning in from New Zealand, welcome to you. Now for one of our favourite engines in aviation these days, the Turkish A321 Neo, and these are usually, I think this one will be loaded with the Pratt & Whitney 1100G engines, which sound amazing. And just taxiing past the tower, we've got the Aer Lingus A330, which uh, should be an awesome sound as it blasts off 2-3 right, right in front of us here. We're live from the Runway Visitor Park. If you do want to come down and enjoy a cracking day out, guys, search for the Runway Visitor Park on Google and uh, get yourself down here, guys. It's uh, a great day out. G Liz is currently in Iceland. Mm. And she's not on the, in the, uh, the Greg's Isle like I usually am. <laughs> she's uh, off in... Um, 
the country Iceland having a wonderful time it looks very cold out there not my ideal holiday for sure yeah I think we get enough of that here don't we <laughs> yeah if I want to be cold I can just go outside <laughs> and there's the Aer Lingus 330 just photo bombing oh what a beautiful aircraft look at them wings as well huge we'll come back to that though I mean, what time were we here yesterday? This is like the complete polar opposite, <laughs> isn't it? It's a different airport, isn't it? Yeah, ladies and gents, uh, Thursday is not the best day for spotting at Manchester, I will say. At the moment. Right yeah. now, yeah. Yeah, me and Andy were uh, out trying to film some content for you guys, and we catch, we catch I think it was like one plane an hour. <laughs> yeah, we catch a plane, and then we kind of just walk around trying to get warm again for for a while and play some music. and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a good day out though. So good, but uh, got some great footage though. Can't wait to show you guys. I definitely want to do a, a 4K YouTube edit of the uh, of the things we caught, as well as all the Facebook clips as well. One of them's going up today at about two o'clock in the afternoon. Seeing it in the cafe, a lot of people looking in that direction with binoculars. I'm just trying to work out what they're seeing that we're not. <laughs> Is this a military dragon? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the flyby's in that direction, so they can't be looking at the flyby. I don't know. That aircraft just blasting off uh, KLM 737 on its way to Amsterdam. Regular service out of Manchester. That aircraft, 21 years old. Was it? Mm. And uh, the A330 is just approaching Juliet 1. So we'll see that lining up very shortly. Yes, one of our favourite aircraft is the 330s. Oh, really? The Okay, so they're trying to find the uh, Lufthansa Retro 747. What? Naughty. Is that a thing over us right now? Over that direction, must be, yeah. That must be quite far, then. Yeah. So that's north, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'd be north, yeah. Fox Art, it's nice to see you in the chat. I mean, I don't see... Have oh, you got I've filters got, on? Yeah, that's why. Come on. There it is. Naughty that. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, I've said it on Twitter the other day. I think all airlines should return to their retro schemes. <laughs> that would just be so cool. Like, I, I love all the retro liveries. I think they look fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has anyone in the chat seen the uh, the new Iceland Air livery that they've 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 had painted? Iceland Air are changing their livery by the looks of it, from the one that we all love to one that has been quite mm. quite polarised in its opinion, mostly negative though I will say. Yeah, they've gone quite basic with the new livery, and the text as well has gotten a lot bigger. And just kind of Ryanair style, like big text on the side. Yeah, a lot of airlines are going in that direction. A bit of a tail design and then just writing the name of the airline on the front is... It's a bit boring, yeah, it's isn't not, it? Not very smart. Well, I suppose it saves money on paint. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I uh, suppose we can. I think it's quite easy to fall in the trap of thinking the airlines think like we do. 
which obviously they don't right because we're plane spotters so we want to see everything looking cool yeah we want to see like the loudest plane of course whereas from their point of view that's something they're going to see on the ground um for five or ten minutes and then it's up in the air and you're not really going to see it again yeah so spending a load of money on a on a sort of really posh livery and getting it designed is probably not the best business decision really is it i suppose and then obviously like they, they will still have their special liveries that exist and get all the photos and media attention uh similar to uh to how uh, let's say emirates and obviously iceland air is a big example of this where they have a select few really beautiful liveries uh, and emirates as well good example with the uh, dubai liveries that exist uh, which are basically just giant billboards for uh, for their um, their uh, Dubai events. Sorry, I was just looking at the uh, the uh, mobile device for a moment there, just to see what where this this aircraft's off to. It is a Jet Two A three twenty one off to uh, Tenerife. It's flight seven five five. This is another A three twenty one. It's the second that we've seen of Jet Two on today's show so far. This one is a recently. Uh, uh, recent addition to their fleet, only recently added to the, the service of their fleet. Uh, Golf Hotel Lima Yankee Bravo. This one. Jet 2 A321. <laughs> Off to Tenerife. Roughly a four hour flight down there. Sorry about that. Mum just give me a quick ring. There we go. Plenty of VIPs in the chat today though, so it's good to see the community all well and good. Thanks everyone. Hope you're doing well everyone. Uh, we've got a Tui Dreamliner on the taxi out as well. Uh, to Punta Cana. Not actually sure where that is, to be honest. Or Panita Carla, is it pronounced? Don't know. You should turn your uh, logos on, on on that view. That's not a bad shot, actually. That's what I usually uh, do. How do we do that? Uh, I don't know, I've been setting somewhere. And there is the Tui Dreamliner. Good shout, Mr. Brownbill. Just useful in it, he's yeah. in the airline. And a Ryanair. Uh, on the roll. Yeah, I agree, Laurie. Doesn't matter what you're doing, how busy you are, how many people you're talking to in a YouTube channel, when your mum rings, you answer the phone, guys. Yeah. That is how it is. Um, and uh, Martin Bootneck, welcome to First Class VIP, ladies and gents. Yo. Let's give him a warm welcome. Thank you very much for the support. Cheers, Martin. That Ryanair that just departed was Ryanair Flight 41, uh, 416, it was. And that's after Mercia. There's a Boeing 737-800, as they usually are. Yep. Especially here at Manchester. I know a couple of other airports, such as uh, London Stansted uh, or Dublin, get quite a lot of uh, Maxes, Ryanair Maxes. We get the occasional one. Uh, we probably see them once every few streams, to be honest. Oh, there you go, Roger. Thank you, mate. Saying so uh, Punta Cana's in Mexico. Okay. There you go. Awesome. And that's uh, a flight today of uh, over 4,200 miles for this Dreamliner that's uh, on its way out. 
wouldn't mind being on a Dreamliner for that that long of a flight to be honest. Yeah. Eight uh, year old aircraft, so relatively relatively new. I think if I was flying long haul, I'd always pick a, either a Dreamliner or a 350 to be honest, just because the mm. the comfort levels of them and the sort of new technology they have. Um, both aircraft are pressurised pretty low, so you don't get as much uh, bad of a jet lag. Can't say the same for uh, the triple seven, <laughs> which I recently flew on. <laughs> I like that positive uh, nightbot command. <laughs> yeah, Loopy asked for that actually, so that's uh, that's, that's been put in last night. Loopy with the good ideas. If you are enjoying the show, ladies and gents, smash that like button. Let's try and hit two thousand likes if we can, guys today's show but um let's see how fast we can hit uh let's see how fast we can hit a thousand likes ladies and gents if you do want to support the channel and it's a completely free way of doing so as well um and if you're new as well please subscribe because we're tanking our way towards forty thousand subscribers it's crazy we might even hit 35 today yeah Jonathan just correcting, saying Punta Cana's in the Dominican Republic. Well, there you go. That's what I get for reading chat out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Note to self, don't ask chat where somewhere is. <laughs> and, and just assume they're right. Yeah, we learned that from the quiz, that uh, not everyone knows everything. It's like when we were doing the quiz, we would always start with like a really easy question, like what is the capital of France or something, mm. and there'd always be someone who gets it wrong, always. <laughs> without, without fail. Oh really Matt? Matt was saying that the, that Jet 2 A3, was it the A321? I think it was. Um, from before uh, Yankee Bravo that just departed to Tenerife is its first flight carrying passengers for oh, Jet there 2. You go. Awesome, great milestone for the aircraft. Jet 2 now have three active A321s in their fleet and soon to be uh, joined by A321 Neos as well, brand new from Airbus. Are there any A380s due in? Yeah, the a 380s already in. Um, so we're hoping that leaves on time now. The uh, two June lines just started its roll, guys. Enjoy this. No worries, Roger. goes the 2E Dreamliner and uh, that's pretty much cleared us out for the minute there's an easy jet pinging up um, which uh, hasn't got a destination showing at the moment um, and then looking looking at anything approaching there's a Ryanair about 10 minutes away uh, a couple of Ryanairs there? and a uh, British Airways and there's an easy jet wrapping round the back from Barcelona uh, flew over Liverpool yep. uh, on the Mersey arrival most probably um, and that'll be turning in in the next few minutes as well 
Um, the Qatar is just over the uh, east coast. Nice. Uh, inbound from Doha, and that service today is operated by a three-year-old triple seven three hundred. So that'll be a nice arrival to catch in the next half an hour, guys. That's pretty new. Three years old, triple seven. Yeah, usually they're a bit older than that, right? I was going to say, yeah, like they, they've, they've done well, the triple sevens, haven't they? They're still getting manufactured and rolled out. And obviously we've got the triple seven X coming soon, which is going to be an awesome addition. I'm sure we'll certainly see some here at Manchester under uh, Emirates, I'd assume. Yeah, I'd say we've, we've got quite a few years for that. Yeah, yeah, but it'll be awesome to see. Like, I wonder if um, I need to look into when they would fold the wings. Is that something you do just as you're coming onto stand, or is it something you do just after landing? Like, it'd be I don't cool know, it to see on the that. regulations, doesn't it? Is it like a problem with parking is the reason why the wings fold, or is that a problem? Yeah, with Yes, it's, it's so that they can fit on a standard, um, a standard. I think it's an is it an A380 gate or or they fit or a standard triple seven gate maybe. Yeah. Um it's so that they don't take up any more space. Yeah. Harvey, thanks very much for the one seventy nine, mate. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Sid Tasker loving the channel as well. Nice one, dude. So for those just joining, we have just dropped some fresh merchandise on the channel. Some of it is available on our store. It's the mugs. Is it all three, is it, or just one? Or? Uh, two mugs uh, are available on the store yeah. at the moment. The logo design and the little Valentine's mug as well is yep. available. So and uh, we showed off some fantastic new designs, which we'll uh, get in a post on the page later on, guys. Yep. So we've got, um, obviously, for that special someone in your life, even if it's just a friend... Or someone you want to be more than a friend. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some mugs going for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's a beluga. Um, two two belugas kissing, basically, on a, a mug design. It's, it's something silly, but uh, it looks quite cool. And it has a nice red inside as well. Certainly does. Um, we've also got the logo design, which is the new Airliners Live logo. Uh, obviously, we had the logo design. I'll just put it somewhere else, because that... The old... Uh, Airliners Live uh, logo we did used to sell on mugs and obviously we had a new logo it got uh, refurbished basically got polished and now you can get it the new one as well we're also looking at getting the logo design on car stickers as well I think they've actually been ordered uh, so they should be here in time for the memorabilia fair on um, Saturday next week so a week tomorrow A normal triple seven gate, right? That makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You guys are romantics. Yeah. To be honest, the, the inspiration of that came from the uh, from the um, the lot the trip down to Harden that uh, Martin made and caught the uh, caught the. Nice idea, Laurie. Caught the two belugas crossing over. Laurie's just saying, can we get magnets instead of car stickers? I think people in the UK nick car magnets, though, is the problem. Like, it's one of the reasons why we don't have pickup trucks over here, because people just nick stuff a lot. <laughs> the wingtips will fold just before it leaves the runway on the 777X. Yeah, I thought so, Tony, because I'd assume there'd also be um, regulations on the wing length to do with their uh, taxiing as well right uh, but I'll look into that though uh, a car magnet, that wouldn't be a terrible idea wouldn't be a terrible idea right ok the EasyJet from uh, Barcelona is now on final, I think you can just about see it, there she is Fridge magnets, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. To me, fridge magnets have always been like either jokey things or things that you get from your travels, right? You'll have like a fridge magnet from different countries that you visited, like like what I've got. 
We bought one down in Lanzarote the other last month it was. I just never put them on the fridge though. <laughs> it's the worst thing about it. You just end up collecting them and putting them in the drawer somewhere. <laughs> one thing I do want to get into the habit of, and I always forget to do this, is collecting currency from different countries. Like in my wallet now, I've still got some dollars. I've still got some, is it Kuna is it called? From uh, Croatia, I've still got some of them. Um, and Euros as well. In my wallet. Now, I don't know why they're in my wallet, like I'm gonna need them. <laughs> Whether I wake up one morning and find myself in uh, somewhere in Arizona. <laughs> At least I've got $11 in my wallet. <laughs> I can maybe get me a, a taxi somewhere. Or a payphone. <laughs> but you never know, right? Or a uh, 50 Croatian Kuna. Does anyone else do that? Anyone else like buy souvenirs from holidays and then just ends up putting them away somewhere? <laughs> I've still got a monkey teddy from Gibraltar floating around. And it's the kind that you can hang off things, you know, the arms kind of like velcro together so it kind of like dangles off things. And I'll have a look at chat in a moment. This is your A320 just arriving here at Manchester the uh, sharklets at the end of the wings there. Or an even better question would be to you guys, what is a, a more obscure souvenir you've got from your travels? Because I'd love to know that. Whiskey Yankee on the registration here. Wow, look at him go, jeez. He's found something now, hasn't he? That's lunch sorted. And let's uh, dive onto radar and then I'll have a look at chat. Go Ryan uh, 737 on final. Just crossing 1600 feet. That's from Milan. Quite a regular service that we're seeing a lot of. I've had change from Barbados for 30 years. Jesus. <laughs> A dollar is always good to have everywhere. I know. Maybe it is. Maybe that might save my life one day, right? Eleven dollars. <laughs> I think one thing you always need in, in the US is a bottle of uh, drink, isn't it? Like a bottle of water or something. <laughs> really, Megan? My 10-year-old came to the airport on Sunday and he saw you, you guys doing airliners live. He was excited to see you. Um, thought he saw the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, we're not anyone anyone special, honestly. It's like when people message us saying, can we sign merch and things that before we send them, I'm like, why? <laughs> you honestly think we're like anything more than just regular people? Like, no. <laughs> we're just regular boring people.
Uh, living at large. Yo, nice one. Off to Lanzarote for the day on Tuesday. How far is the airport from everything? Yo, dude. Uh, Lanzarote is 10 out of 10, especially for spotting. Um, maybe 9 out of 10, because I'll give the 10 out of 10 to, uh, to Tenerife. <laughs> um, but I made my first trip there in December, so just last month. Uh, really good airport and really good for spotting. Uh, everything's like basically within walking distance there. It's, it's quite a small area. Um, I forget the name of it, but there is a town directly next to... Is it Playa Honda, as I think it's called? Uh, next to the airport. You can just walk there from the airport. Although I got a hire car, which wasn't a lot of money at all and made my life a lot easier. It wasn't really necessary there in the end. I thought it would be more needed. Uh, and if you stay in one of the towns near the airport, you can just walk to the airport and do some fantastic spotting there. you got the beach, which is right on the front of the airport. And if they're on that runway, you'll catch them flying right over your head. There's a really cool YouTube video we uploaded a couple of weeks ago. It's now on something like 140,000 views. Uh, and it's uh, just uh, some operations that you see at, Man at the Manchester, at uh, Lanzarote Airport uh, from the beach. And it's some great views there, dude. I really want to get back and one of my goals this year I think would be really interesting is do a live show from there I think that would be really fun not just for selfish reasons of course <laughs> actual constructive reasons as well it's Ryanair from Milan 737 800 You're back, are you? I am. Does that turn this hot spot off? There we go. Didn't you say that the last place that you went to, Martin, was uh, Tenerife abroad? Uh, last Tenerife? place I went to abroad was Egypt, I think. Egypt? Yeah. Did you get any souvenirs from there? Um, I think you buy the generic stuff, right? But I don't think any of it's actually worth <laughs> worth anything. <laughs> it's I'll I'll say one of the one of the worst things about Egypt for me was there's a huge amount of hassle for oh, people yeah. to buy things in the markets and that. Mate, right, not in the market, it's just everywhere. Right. Literally, honestly, you cannot leave your hotel. Yeah. They're waiting for you outside the hotel. Oh, mister, please buy this, buy, buy this, buy this. Yeah. You go to the pyramids. Oh, buy this. Come for the camel ride. Come do it. <laughs> and it's not just like normal. It's super, super like the relentless. In your one. face. and Yeah. They yeah literally, yeah, yeah. do yeah, yeah. not stop. Same in Turkey as well. I think it's the exact same where it's like you walk past a restaurant and they come out and try and yeah. drag you in and... And all sorts. Oh, come look at my shop, come look at my shop. And um, donkey rides and stuff. And yeah, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it, I'll be honest. Um, and the, uh, and I thought to myself, I'll, just, I'll have a look at a video a few months about, because um, there was a guy who put a video up, a travel vlogger that I watch. And he had exactly the same experience as me when, when he was doing his vlog there as well. Yeah. So I, I kind of just being sure that yeah, it wasn't everyone. just a one-off bad experience yeah, that we all, had. All tourists get it, I think, especially in the, uh, some of them countries. Um, battery check saying Matt, who got 12% battery, so we'll change it before the Qatar triple comes in, which is probably about 15, 20 minutes away. Yeah, it's just over, uh, over uh, the Midlands now. Over the Midlands, yeah, so it's uh, arriving in 24 minutes, it reckons. It's currently on its descent uh, through 23,000 feet. And how many terminals do we have here at Manchester? It's three. Although only two are open. But I think it's pretty uh, evenly split between the two of them in terms of traffic levels. Mm -hmm. 
For a while, they only had one open. One thing I do love getting from the Canary Islands, anytime I go, I'll buy this uh, in large amounts, is the uh, honey rum they make down there. All right. Oh, my gosh, it's beautiful. I've got so much of it in mine at the moment as well. Honey rum. Honey rum, it is really... It's like a liqueur, but it's quite strong still. It's like maybe 30% proof. Yeah. Um, it's it's really, really good. It's really good. You can have it basically straight very easily, or you can mix it with a little bit of Coke or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I ever go to the Canary, I'd, I'd go to the Canaries just to buy some. Just to buy a gun and rum trip. Honest, yep. <laughs> Next thing we got Ryan there from Barcelona has just uh, turned onto the ILS. Nice. Thanks very much for tuning in today, guys. Hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, Martin, I can see why you like spotting there at Ace. Oh, that was me, Andy. Uh, but Martin, I don't think you've been to Lanzarote, have you? No, no, oh, I, I haven't. I think you'd love it there. That airport is. It does look crazy. A lot of fun. Oh, it's up already. A lot of fun. Bit of training going on over at the... Uh, yeah, I was looking at that. It's weird how it's like one puff of smoke and... Mm, interesting. Yeah, it's never like... starting it off. It's never like a continuous stream, is it? Maybe they're having a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how um, how it works if they want to do some fire training, but the wind is, is blowing in that direction like it is now. Yeah. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're just testing it out. Mm-hmm. An, old, an old fashioned rum run. Yeah, exactly. It's only a four hour flight. I'll happily do that for a bottle of rum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big drinker. I really don't drink alcohol. I never really get drunk. I never never have more than one Western, for example. Yeah, same as me. It's just like occasionally, but I, I really do. Uh, I can't appreciate a good honey rum. Yeah, I, uh, I usually just have one. Westerns and that's that's enough. I, know, for I don't me. even finish the bottle. Sometimes I just get it like oh, three quarters through. I, I always finish the bottle. <laughs> 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 but um, there is ev every now and again when you're in like a super good mood, there's a sensation. Oh, should I just crack another one? But I don't think I'd finish two bottles. Two's a bit. Yeah, you need to. Two's quite a, a big big moment in it. Like yeah, you got to really commit if you're going to go <laughs> for two bottles. Yeah, three. Oh my gosh. I'm sure me and Gila's had like three each when we were in Gibraltar Gosh. on the last night. We were like, you know what, let's have some drinks. Drinking like that uh, before you're about to get on a plane the oh next Oh yeah, the, the, the next morning was, was really be rough. We had to get up early, we had to check out, it was really humid, we were tired, uh, we were hungover. We had to go and have a, uh, a test done as well, you know, to get back to the UK. This was like back in uh, summer of last year. Yeah. We yeah, probably had like two hours sleep, maybe. It was like Thatcher's that. gold. Listen, Henry Westerns is the only acceptable cider on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, no, we, uh, we're a big lover of Henry Westerns here, David. They're really good. I think I've not tried Thatcher's gold, but I've tried a Thatcher's behind the com uh, behind the bottles that make, um, like, Katie is one of them. Um, it's called Katie, and that's, uh, that's another strong cider. Katie Perry. Just <laughs> it's literally just called Katie on the bottle. Oh, I never heard of that. I had an ex-girlfriend called Katie. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe she's behind it. <laughs> well, she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. knocked you out. About twelve percent, I'd say. With one bottle. <laughs> If you are enjoying the channel, guys, and you'd like to show us some support, the best way to do so is either by becoming a VIP or by sending in a super chat. You can do so by clicking the dollar symbol, then clicking join, or the dollar symbol, then click super chat, guys. Do it. Do it now. If you're watching on Twitch, help us reach our sub goal. Don't forget to check them Twitch primes. Any oilers, any oilers. Support the channel if you can, guys. 
And if you want to support us for free, then you can do so by clicking the like button, the thumbs up below the YouTube video, and uh, by subscribing to the channel. <clears throat> Another Ryanair 737. Good to see a few Ryanairs today. And BA on uh, the ILS as well. We probably seen like two Ryanairs the whole day yesterday. Mm. Don't know what's going on with them. Their it's operations, strange, wasn't it? It yeah, was their operations seem to have shrunk a little bit recently. I don't know why. How often do they use the second runway? Ah, ah, ah. never these days. <laughs> never, never, never these days. Maybe in the future they'll reopen runway two, but we don't know. Needs to be busy first. They say they say LA, you know. Yeah. <laughs> LA gets a little bit busy. According to Matt, we've got another Virgin Atlantic A330 pinging up. Thank you for the heads up. Off to Bridgetown. And uh, Yanis with the 49 Czech crowns. Thank Cheers, you so much. Yannis. Cheers. And he said, uh, hi from Czech Republic. Welcome. Yo, I love the Czech Republic. I've been to Prague. Beautiful city. Love to go back there, especially in the winter, you know. Yeah, so you know when I was younger, right? We had um, we had an au pair from the Czech Republic. Okay, just like um, it's like a lady who, like lives in your house, right? And because both my mum and dad were were working full time at the time, yeah, and, yeah. Um, she uh, yeah, she used to live in the house with us um, and uh, sort of make our dinner and stuff. Yeah, and um, at the same time, she was obviously going to school and. And all that sort of Did thing. Did you ever make goulash? I can't remember. I can't remember, but um, Hannah, she was called, and she's been like a really good family friend ever since then. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. She was from the Czech Republic. Yeah, I need to revisit there. Yeah, she was saying it's a really nice place, like Prague. Yeah, is uh, is one for the list. It's just one of them places where there's just loads to see and do. Like, there's just, like, every street's got a new quirky restaurant or something, like, really uh, interesting architecture-wise or history-wise. Virgin Atlantic uh, has just started pinging up to Bridgetown. That's an A330. Man, these logos have just made my day. Yeah, good, isn't it? I forgot they even existed. Yeah. When you say busy, how many flights an hour were there at Manchester pre-COVID? Uh, I think 600 a day, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, 600 movements a day was kind of the average. So do the maths there, I guess. <laughs> so we're well, well down on that. Yeah, we're like probably half I think that we're at the 300 at the moment on a yeah. good day. Yeah. So, so if you stick with the channel, guys, as we exit, hopefully very soon out of this pandemic yeah you should see a massive improvement on our channel in terms of traffic flow and they excitement are. so they are here at the uk i think it's from the 11th of february releasing a bunch of restrictions on travel like they're re making it super what would, oh yeah <laughs> they're, ma they're making it super easy to travel compared to how it's been in terms of testing in terms of like uh isolation and things they're making it super easy now that will definitely have a boost but the problem is we're at the mercy of every other country when it comes to travel because if you want to go somewhere not only do you have to adhere to the the uk rules when you come back but also their rules when you get there so that might have a, a good positive effect on it especially the confidence to travel yeah um but um we shall see fingers crossed and c172 on twitch saying uh Thanks very much for streaming this. I love waking up in Ontario, Canada with my cup of tea, watching the aircraft coming and going. Take care. Thank you, mate. Glad you're enjoying the stream, dude. So, Qatar is there. So, I'll change the battery in about a few minutes' time. I mean, we've kind of got a few minutes before anything moves. If yeah, you so. Do it, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll get ready now. G. Crow just sat on top of the pole. Yeah, I see people saying Krakow and Dubrovnik are two really interesting ones. I've not been to either of them. A lot of people I know have been to... Um, 
Krakow recently and said it's really good. Um, and Dubrovnik similarly. There you go. There's the uh, the fire crew again doing a little bit more, a bit more work over there, a bit more training, keeping their skills up to shape. Can't really see them though. It's a problem. Is no, it? I'm trying to see what they're actually doing over there. Okay, I'm going to change the battery, ladies and gents, so the screen will go dark. We've got the Qatar 777 about to intercept the base leg of the approach, so that'll be in in literally a few minutes. We've also got the A380 on the ground, which should be uh, due out in just over an hour's time if it's on time today. Who knows? Who knows? G Crow indeed. Oh really, Loopy? Yo, that'll be sick. What's that? Loopy saying he's seeing a uh, Iron Maiden in July in in Italy. Oh, naughty! That'd be uh, pretty wild. I'm not sure about what the restrictions in Italy. It seems to be quite easy to fly to. I know a couple of people who have been there recently and had a, an easy time doing so. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's you know there's still a lot of work to be done to get it back to normal. Um, but uh, I think Europe is looking quite good. Right, battery swap coming up now, ladies and gents. So if you bear with me for about uh, less than 10 seconds, hopefully, usually. Standby team. Here we go. Black screen standing by. Here we go. Let's hold that there. And here we go. Thank you. She's a there you go. Man, I can't wait to, to order that A380 t-shirt, man. Either. Yeah, I think it will be nicer on a t-shirt. Maybe we should keep it to t-shirt, just so we haven't got like a million hoodie designs as well. Mm. <laughs> Don't panic, everyone. 9.7 seconds so i'm usually a lot quicker on the on the battery swaps but i've got these big chunky gloves on as a problem so everything that deals with like being small and precise just takes a lot longer anyone got any exciting plans for the weekend that's a good question well you got airliners live on sunday you got airliners live sunday morning <laughs> yet yeah, 10 30. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> I don't want to, I, I hate to admit this, but tomorrow um, I said I'd do a favour for an old friend <clears throat> tomorrow night. I've, I'm not regretting it because I think I'll enjoy it, but I would have liked a day off now that I think about it. Yeah. Um, but the, um, she's a really good friend of mine who runs the shop I used to work in, was saying that the, a member of staff's uh, a bit unwell at the moment, so they're struggling to get staff. Hmm. So there's just one day where they were really struggling, which is tomorrow. And he said, do you want to come in and work uh, for a few hours? Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I've got nothing on that day. It's not until the evening, so I can still have all day off and just chill. Go on then. It'll be a good good, good laugh, I think. Nice. So I'm doing that from in tomorrow evening. But again, I kind of wish I had the day off, but it's only one thing. It's just a one-off thing. So Because I've not had a day off this week, and I won't have a day off until the uh, 10th of February, which is... Which is fun to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> but Next in the uh, easy jet, no, it's a Pegasus uh, from Istanbul. Mm. Uh, flight time of four hours. Moving house tomorrow and chillaxing on Sunday. Watching says Grace, nice. Moving house. Good oh luck my with gosh. that. What a stressful thing that can be. <laughs> Well, it depends. I think I think it's down to the individual, isn't it? Like if, if you're super organised, yeah. you got you know your boxes and all of this, yeah. and you probably sound. If you're like me, where you just lob everything in and it, yeah. in a box called office, <laughs> then uh, that doesn't really help yeah. you too much, I suppose. But yeah, Irish Steve, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, Bing Bong. Welcome, dude. Oh yeah, thank you so much. It's one of them things where it's like you've just got to get it done, right? You can't like yeah. stop halfway and be like, uh, you know, you've just got to get it done. Yeah, just. Just get it all done in one go. You just want to get a van, lob everything in a van, and uh, just crack on. I don't think I ever want to move house again in my life. I'm, I'm mm. done. I'm done with that. <laughs> I think the problem is with moving houses, you don't realise how much stuff you've accumulated until you have to start yes. packing it up. 
and you're like why have I still got this like you know this t-shirt that I've never worn like in yeah and I don't even like it it doesn't even fit me anymore but you just find that all over the place Al Smith saying uh, massive props for the Broughton show that was really uh, a great show with epic shots uh, I think you're talking about the uh, the vlog there yeah um, yeah I enjoyed making that actually it was, people uh, seem good. to really like that yeah getting a lot of positive feedback on the vlog actually which is which is awesome definitely something we'll be doing some more of in the future I'd say definitely. especially in the summer as well won't we? oh that'd be great there we go another 330 on the taxi out it's a Virgin Atlantic A330 this time cheers Paul appreciate that <laughs> 93 likes away from 1000 so now's the nice. time to click that thumbs up ladies and gents so we hit that in the first half of the show might start making like LA flights where they, they get a thousand likes in 30 minutes that's pretty crazy that'd be it? insane yeah I have a lot of respect for them guys, I was in their chat last night actually. And as soon as I go into their chat, it's very hospitable, you know, it's like immediately um, getting a big welcome and big hello from the guys over there. Yeah. And the chat as well are really hospitable. Super friendly guys, always got time for you, always happy to say hello. Um, yeah, Peter and Joshua, massive, massive shout out to them. Yep. Awesome, uh, awesome set of lads making some fantastic content over there. I'm always happy to send people over to them. Yeah. It's quite a new channel as well. Live streaming the, uh, the action over at uh, LAX. But putting a shift in, aren't they? They've got a oh, yeah. long streams. And Steve Lois, thank you very much for the £5 Super Chat Bing Bong, saying, loving the stream, Martin and Andy, have a brew on me. Thank you very much, Steve. That's very kind, mate. Easy Jet's rolling. We can just see the Qatar now as well. Yeah, we love, uh, love the guys at uh, LA Flights. They do chips on Fridays now. Oh yeah, is that what you said? Well, I don't know. I mean, we went, we went in, and we got some, didn't we? I don't know. I wasn't here last Friday. Oh, it was me and Matt, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, I mean, me and Matt went in and, and got some food. Yeah. So we're probably probably Gucci ready to go. There you go. Sorted, and it won't be mad busy this time. Yeah. Went there on Sunday. It was just like everyone oh, was it. packed. I think it was because it was quite cold and it was breezy. Yeah. Um, and everyone was kind of just taking cover in the uh, in the cafe. Everyone in the world was in that cafe. We were lucky to get a table. I think we were. Qatar triple next in. There she is. Bigfoot. Be touching down soon. Yeah, Kevin, I think them themselves are really good presenters and they're also super fortunate with the airport as well because obviously the airport's just packed and the Their camera works really good as well. Oh yeah, camera works fantastic, really good. Better than mine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think so. Whoosh. Great sound there. Trying to say the uh, controls there. The triple F, you guys know it. I only joined two channels, 
airline is live in LA flights. Well, there you go. There you go. Nice one. <laughs> That'll like cover you for uh, all the action you'll ever need. We've also got actually the um, Virgin 330 lining up at the moment. I think we're, um, I need to speak to Peter and Joshua actually because they they invited us to be remote. Uh, guest hosts on the channel at one point That'd as well. That'd be great. I'd love to. Um, I'd, I'd stay there for the full. We'd love to do that. Full eleven hours. That'd be that'd be hilarious. So uh, Peter, Joshua, if uh, if that invitation's still open, guys, we'd love to uh, take part on that. Yeah, we'll give them a message. We we're quite close to them, guys. A three thirty rolling. Yep. Do you know, did you see that handle I sent you yesterday? That was pretty mad, wasn't it? Handle the control handle that I sent you when we were in that meeting last I didn't night. see uh, it's basically like a remote that attaches onto this right. it's like a new handle good idea that isn't it it's definitely smart isn't it because that's kind of just puts it down to just being one handed right yeah never understood the standing on the fence thing when there's a massive block you can stand on yeah here. there's plenty of spaces you can use isn't it yeah instead of being a, a door why don't you come and stand there and <laughs> let people see a stance and a half. <laughs> we well, also got the TAP Air Portugal on the taxi hour as well. That'll nice. be on its return back to Lisbon. Yeah, we'll definitely need to get in touch with uh, the guys over at LA Flight. Uh, maybe give them a message today. Yeah. Good uh, friends of ours. Great big beast of the Boeing 777-300 ER. And obviously the, uh, the triple stacked rear landing gear there. It's quite rare to see. You only get them on on the uh, 777s as well as the uh, A350-1000s as well. Of course, the, uh, the lovely smell as well from that aircraft. Oh yeah, do nice a bit power. of jet fuel. Yeah. Uh, someone did ask it in the chat uh, if there's any 747s or A380s in today. We don't get any 747s at Manchester anymore, not at all. The only time you'd ever see one is, is was from like a divert or something crazy like that. Um, but we do get A380s. We get two of them every day, and they're both from Emirates. One's in right now, it came in about just over an hour ago into Manchester Airport and it's now on stand, gate 12, I believe it is, uh, Terminal 1. And that usually goes out at about 1pm, uh, well, it's scheduled to go out, I think it's at 10 past 1 uh, in the afternoon here in UK time. However, uh, I've got a bad habit of being uh, about an hour late usually. I have looked at that before, you know. Yeah, David Long, that looks interesting, dude. Yeah. Are we ever, is, what, what month is that? I'm not sure. What date is that on, David? Because I'd love to look into that again. It's all about, like, if a free is the problem. Logan uh, uh, just joined the ILS. She's uh, inbound from Aberdeen. Yeah, we have 5G in the UK. And I've seen it's been causing a couple of issues with some airlines. Um, so British Airways and Emirates have been uh, pulling out of some airports over in the States, just over some concerns over, I don't know if it's anything that's gonna manifest into something serious, but obviously it's a safety concern, which needs to be sort of uh, looked into. 
July first and second. Okay, oh yeah, nice, nice in the in the summer. So yeah, I think we we spoke about this while you was away on the show, and it turns out it's down to the band of uh, the frequency that they're using rather than just five G in general. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think what it was is they we use. Right, I can't remember which way round it is, guys, so correct me if I'm wrong. I think UK's on band C, and I they're using band B. Okay, I don't know. And yeah. it's band B that's interfering with the radio altimeters. Right. So that's, I think it's that way around, or it's the other way around, one of the two. But um, but yeah, basically, that's why the UK isn't having an issue, because we're on a different band. Doesn't sound like a hard thing to fix, though. Like, Well, the, the problem is, I think they've sold the band. <laughs> right. So, if Awkward. that... Yeah. It's just money in it again. Yeah, I don't know enough about it to be honest. I, I definitely want to read into that. Because mm. if it's uh, serious enough, <coughs> well, all the major American carriers signed a signed a, a letter to uh, to say that there was a big issue that needed yeah. sorting. I can imagine, like. It's just not not acceptable, is it, to to be able to even think about running airlines to these places if there's a such a concern about it. It's one of the problems in it that you just roll something out and you don't realise it's going to affect something so specific. Yeah. Until uh, until you you find the problem, <laughs> by then it's too late. Similar to the um, the Qatar A350 problem with their paintwork, it's like yeah. how could they ever foresee that? You know, I don't I don't even know if they would have been able to. Because uh, it's such a, a long-term thing that degra you know degrades over time. I think the thing is, no one expects you to foresee every possible issue. Exactly. But it's how you deal with the issue once it arises that people judge you on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, from what we've seen in the news, obviously. Qatar and, and Airbus are at kind of loggerheads about what's going on with that. Um, I've got no idea. Who who's responsible? Like what's going on? Obviously, that's down to them. But there's there's them too that don't seem to be able to come to a conclusion. You got the guys in America now. It's getting to the point where passengers are being inconvenienced because they couldn't sort it out quick enough, um, and they're now having to suspend flights. So it's one of them things where when there's an issue, it needs to be sorted quickly before it becomes an issue for everybody else. Yeah, exactly. Amy Doyle, good afternoon. Welcome. It's pretty well said. Be interesting to see how they resolve it. I'd assume, like my my thought would be, could they not just change the bands? Like, well, I think the issue is, and correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but whoever is in charge of it has sold the rights or sold something to do with those bands to the companies already. Right. So it would involve now refunding <laughs> them companies, and also, I don't know who bought them in the first place, but then they just wouldn't be able to be used. Mm. So, it's obviously a bit of a bit of an issue, isn't it? Bit of an awkward situation, similar to the Qatar problem. Yeah, so uh, they're saying the five G frequencies are close to the radio uh, radio altimeter frequencies on some aircraft in question. Yeah, right. Well, you can see what the problem is then, can't you? Well, yeah. I mean, radio <laughs> altimeter is super important. Yeah. The radio altimeter is the uh, isn't that the one that like talks to the ground so like yeah so it fires a radio signal at the ground um and looks for that bouncing back yep and that tells the aircraft systems um but it only works at how close altitude, it is right? to the ground so yeah it only works at a certain altitude um but it's relative to the terrain so um it's a really good sort of situal uh, situational awareness tool for pilots yeah and uh, if that's not behaving itself and float, throwing up sort of false um, positives, then then that could be pretty risky. And that's what uh, drives the uh, the call out, isn't it? Yeah, because obviously that's like relative to the ground. So obviously your height above sea level, for example, is not relevant when you're trying to land the plane because it's your height above the terrain that is. Yeah. Most so obviously you've got um, you've got the. Uh, the Q and H, which you punch into the aircraft, and then the radio altimeter kind of uh, works alongside that, and like I say, it powers um, or it's responsible for providing data into the aircraft for things like the uh, the callouts.
Right, okay, Flying Architect. You, you seem to be quite clued up on this. But yeah, uh, he's just saying that some bearing radio altimeters are configurable outside of the 4.2 to 4.4 ranges. So it could be a clash. It's an awkward situation though, isn't it? Like, you know, like who's responsible and who can, who's going to make the changes, right, to fix it. So, uh, I guess the uh, the exciting part about the news story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You would be pretty uh, peed off if your flight was cancelled or something because of this. So. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> What's that on the side there? Johnny's Jet. Ah. The airline of the year 2018. Really? I don't know. I don't think this aircraft pulled the reverses at all. When it touched down there, it just used the foot brakes and the spoilers, I think. Logan Air there with the beautiful tartan tail design. One of my favourite tails, really. Oh, God. Uh, apparently it cost um, $1 billion to buy the 5G coverage <laughs> and the US government are having huge issues. Ah. So they basically bought the band and now it's just, they can't use it around airports. Crazy. But is that like one point whatever billion across whole states? Like, you know, like, is that just airport areas? Because sure. airports aren't that big in the grand scheme of things. Like, they're big, but not that big. Ah, okay, there you go. Flying architect saying, I'm doing 5G stuff at the moment, so it's in my mind. The military own the ranges of either 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz in the UK, so no chance of commercial deployment. Roger. Uh, e. Peterson, thank you very much for the six months of business class membership. Nice to see you back in the chat. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> the plane's fully clothed again. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Not the same one. I don't think it is. If Looking you are enjoying the show, guys, don't forget to click thumbs up and like. It really does help us out. It's expensive, all this new technology, isn't it? 5G mm. and the likes. Let's have a look on radar, shall we? What is happening in the world of Manchester Airport? That's the question. Not much going on at the moment. Oh, there's a Norwegian uh, inbound from Oslo uh, coming from the north, so that'll be in about 10 minutes. Yeah, and a United Airlines 777. <laughs> Not coming here, sadly, but uh, <laughs> it's about to fly overhead. Uh, so we'll probably hear that. Yeah, we may not. Well, we definitely won't see won't that. Won't see today. it though. It's like this very thin, ugly layer of overcast here at Manchester today. That's off to Nuremberg. What an interesting place to go. Nice subsonic. Hope you have a good trip, mate. And E. Peterson, thank you very much for the huge $25 saying, Hello, gang. Enjoyed the LAX stream yesterday, but uh, secretly like your stream the most. <laughs> nice one. Appreciate you, dude. Why is it a secret? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. Say it with your chest. Airline yeah. is live. It's the best. There you go. Get it on a t-shirt. Get that one for next free. Next t-shirt design. Although the A380 one is looking pretty naughty. I'm super excited to get that one. Printed, yeah. Wear that on my chest. Oof, I with, am excited with confidence. Excited to uh, to get that order. Do you want to show it off again? Because obviously, yeah, it's, I might order one a, tonight. You know, there's probably a whole new audience in the chat. Like, so, ladies and gents, have a look at this. This is our latest design. Obviously, yeah, a couple of you guys who were watching earlier on would have already seen this, but I guess you can see it again. Uh, but for those who didn't see it, uh, we have a new merch design coming to our merch store obviously now right now live on airlineslive.com there's a couple of mug designs that we've added today so go and get yours ordered if you haven't already but if you want to wait around for these to get added tonight is a new t-shirt design and boy it's looking it's probably it's definitely my favorite so far we've had some really good designs over the years but this one is looking pretty swanky 
we've gone ahead with two new big designs for t-shirts uh, we got one for the star of most of our shows the the grand finale of most of our shows as well is the king of the skies it's the a380 and to us it's like a big spectacle to see it it's almost like a movie right it's like the biggest actor of the show it's the star it's the uh, the protagonist i guess you call it uh, and it, so what we did was we created a um, movie poster style design have a look at that the king <laughs> a380 here on airline is live that is a naughty design that is beautiful it's it's really good looking i can't wait to rock that just as a shirt as well i'm actually really proud of it but there you go what do you think of that ladies and gents that will be coming to our merch so you guys can be wearing that soon rocking it um representing the channel as well with that i can't wait and then we've got something a little bit more simple but also very bold very big and very uh very a bit of beluga really is the beluga xl design look at that again very uh big bold good looking i think that's a good design as well it's not too um, I guess aviation it's kind of uh, a bit subtle a bit stylish mm -hmm. but also it, you know if anyone knows the XL they'll know exactly what you're talking about so they'll be live tonight uh, on Airliners Live's online shop airlinerslive.com or you can go to shop.airlinerslive.com links are in the chat uh, Loopy's just put the link as well as uh, Matt as well yeah we'll be uploading those products for you to purchase later on guys when we get back and right now in stock, we have the new mug design. So we've got we th do. three different designs. Two of them are online now. You can find them at shop.airlinerslive.com. One of them is the the new logo design. Uh, and that is available for shipping now. And as well as the Valentine's Day Beluga special. So we've got more Beluga action for you. Uh, if you've got that special someone in your life, you want to buy a silly uh, design for a silly mug. Um that is available for you or someone that you just know is into aviation yep. especially belugas as well there's not a lot of them though to go around so obviously if we do sell out and there's high demand we'll order more but right now there's about 12 in stock obviously there's been a couple ordered today so it's probably less than that uh, and they're on airlineslive.com as well there you go the shirts i'm super excited for that a380 shirt i'm gonna wear that all the time and i can't wait obviously with the temperature getting slightly warmer as well uh, especially coming into February and in March the shirts will start to come out and I think it's perfect timing for that still going to be wearing my hoodie every day though of course so yeah that's all really good news, excited for it hyped uh, and it's probably the best looking merch we've released so far Yeah, maybe the best looking aviation merch I'd say uh, <laughs> I'd say the A380's up there, yeah, yeah, 100% I mean, everyone's loved the retro design. Yeah. We've sold so many retro design hoodies. But, uh, yeah, I think the A380's probably topped it as my favourite design yeah, so far. Yeah, I think so. That is really naughty. It is really good. Like I said, it's a good design in general. It's not, like, it's not too cliche. It's not too simple. It's actually, like, really well done. Like, yeah. I owe it to uh, our designer, uh, who's done a 10 out of 10 job on that one. And couldn't... Legend. Couldn't have... You know, we, we had a brief that we, me and Martin, thought of. We were like, we wanted to be like a bit like a movie poster, and a bit of like a red and black theme, quite moody but quite dramatic. And we couldn't really like put it together ourselves, but we just gave him that brief, and he came back with that. And gosh, like I couldn't have asked for anything better, to be honest. Yeah, it's epic. Love it, love it. It'd be good if um, Stream Elements had like a or Nightbot had like a live sub counter. That'd be really good. I wonder it, if that's it may well do. I know. I just thought about that. We're on our way to three thirty-five thousand uh, subscribers. We're on thirty-five point four thousand. So I wonder if this weekend we'll hit it. I think it's definitely doable. All depends on how big the Sunday show is. Obviously, Sunday is our biggest show of the year, of the year <laughs> of the of the week. Um, Biggest show of the the year would probably be the uh, the charity show, yeah, which, uh, usually us usually around uh, September as well. And uh, Greg just saying, "Hey, gents, it's 15 degrees where I live, uh, so be happy you are not shooting where I live." So I assume you mean Fahrenheit then? 
Ooh, what is that? That sounds very. If that's Fahrenheit, like, is that, that Fahrenheit, us, Greg? Yeah, if you let us know. Because if Fahrenheit. it's Celsius, then you're actually warmer than us, and I think I would like to be streaming where you. <laughs> yeah. are. That'd be nice, actually. I could even wear shorts in 15 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit. That sounds abhorrently cold. <laughs> Uh, there's a jet to uh, just pinging up on the ground, uh, and that's going to be on its way to somewhere. Doesn't tell me where yet. Could be a test flight. Could well be. We've got a uh, it's the Oslo flight from Norwegian uh, on the ILS. No visual yet. We'll keep an eye on him. Should be there in a minute. I haven't looked at the product yet. <laughs> I like the picture. We 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 did just add the because um, we we said um, what does I say there. No, it's just where it's where the inventory is housed. Okay, it's oh, not right, okay. public. That's like, that's not like on there. On no, the, on no, 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 no. Imagine that. Imagine. <laughs> Go and find the inventory yourself. <laughs> I can see the Norwegian uh, seven. Was it seven three seven? Was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, from uh, Oslo. Red nose is on final note. So we'll catch that soon. The lights are uh, dazzling. The camera at the moment is pretty far away. What's airport? Uh, what's Barton Airport like for planes of viewing? Very good, Sam. Definitely worth a visit, mate. Yeah, you get some really good uh, spots there as well. You got the ho I mean, a whole front where you can walk across. You just see the whole airfield from mm. it. You know, un um, unimpeded. I don't know, un unobstructed views, uh, and the fence is pretty low as well. Yeah, it's not like a big fence that towers above you. You just see over it. So Fahrenheit would be minus nine Celsius. It's pretty chilly, isn't it? Just a bit. Solar Hawk, welcome to you. <clears throat> like I said, when I transferred through New York, it was minus eight Celsius. Oh. And I, I, I went to myself because obviously it was a layover, so I had to like, I had to get, I had to go through customs and you know through the yeah, yeah, yeah. everything and go out and then back in again. Um, so I went through it all and I went, you know what? I'm going to go outside and just feel what minus eight feels like. And you one toe out the door and straight back I, I had, I had, Well, I had no coat either. I didn't bring any coats with me. I just had the Airlines Life hoodie. I had my thermals. I think I had my thermals underneath. I don't know. Oh, you would have been well warm then if you had the Airlines Life hoodie. Well, yeah. Available I, I, I at airlineslive.com <laughs> forward slash. No, it's not. I was actually okay, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I feel like if I was out in it for a while, though, ooh, that would have been. That would have stung. Beluga should be in view. Beluga. I doubt it with the cloud layer we've got here today, sunshine. Beluga coming into Manchester? No. <laughs> We've Let's been not there. start that rumour again. <laughs> that was a funny stream, that. I should go back and find that stream and just rename it. Yeah. The one without the Beluga. <laughs> Red Nose Norwegian. 737, here we go. Just arrived at Manchester. Bit of a plain tail this time. Welcome to Manchester, Norwegian, from Oslo. Norwegian 737. Lima November Echo, November Oscar on the registration there. 
Hey, Cassie's in the chat. One of my Hi. good friends. Hello, hello, Cassie. Hope you're well. So that was Norwegian flight uh, 1348 from Oslo. Just arrived here at Manchester on 23 right. Not too much wind today as well. When, no. when, we, when me and Martin were here yesterday, it was really windy. Like the aircraft were dancing around. and Yeah, really getting blown around, weren't they? We were saying it wouldn't be surprised if there was a go around. It was that windy. And the wind was cold, man. It was cold. Yeah, it was bitter yesterday. It was. Uh, I was. We were wrapped up pretty well, but we still. Uh, Sorry, guys. One second. Still managed. What's that there? What, what is that there now? It's a VIP terminal. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. Because I know it's all new, isn't it? Uh, it's been here about a year or so now. Yeah, so yeah. We it's, haven't been for nearly two years. So. Yeah, so it's, it's well, it would. Yeah, it's been here since then. So it's it just basically VIPs go through and it, they get taken to the aircraft in oh, those right. BMWs there. Uh, oh, right. nice. You can you can just book it yourself if you've got your own flight. You can go in and book it. I can't remember right. exactly how much it is, but. They'll take you to your flight and yeah. I don't think it gets used very much these days. No, not at the moment. <laughs> it's not really being used. Thank you for that. All right, no worries. Okay. Right, so that Jet 273 is pinging up on the ground over at Terminal 2. It's got a call sign on it. The registration on that is Gulf Delta Romeo Tango Foxtrot. Um, she's just chilling down there. I'm assuming not much is going to happen with that because there's no call sign. You know, even if they're doing a test flight, they usually have uh, some kind of call sign. That's got kind of quiet here at uh, Manchester right now. It has, hasn't it? Uh, it does go through weird lulls in, in traffic. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, we're just happy that there's enough traffic to be live, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, in February, especially from the 11th of February, they are uh, releasing a lot of the restrictions on travel here coming back to the UK and also for people visiting the UK so I suspect that will have a positive impact I feel like we're almost on like a sort of mid-season break or something in terms of <laughs> in terms of traffic here yeah there's uh, Matt with the uh, the Meta from Manchester he's on it six knot wind a 210. Not too bad, is it? Mm. Hey, up, Jane. Nice to see you. And thanks again, Kevin D, for the Mega Bong yeah. donation. Things like that make it all worth it in terms of uh, covering do. our cost costs and things like that. If you're new and you're wondering what a Mega Bong is, it is any donation that is purple on the channel, and that's triggered by $50 or £50 and over. And that's uh, any purple donations are classed as a mega bong here on the channel, guys. And obviously donations below that are our standard bing bongs. Uh, and uh, Kevin sent in the first mega bong of the day earlier on in the show. Big massive thank you to you. And thanks to everyone today for all of your support and your viewership. I think Edward in the chat wins the award today for the person who's most behind on the stream. He said, <laughs> Punta Cana is actually in a Dominican Republic. There you go. I think you. I think you're about an hour behind you. If you click the little live button, um, and in about an hour's time, we'll probably be offline. But <laughs> yeah. when you do catch we are, up, we are speaking to you from the future. Yeah, or well, the past. I don't know. I Which don't one is it? That Benji had done it. Yeah. But uh, when you catch up, um, I hope you're having a good day, Edward. <laughs> No, I do that sometimes, even like by like a minute or so, because it happens when you, you you buffer as well, or you go off the tab and you come back on, and it yeah. resumes where you left off, which is a bit annoying sometimes. We can actually turn that off on a channel, like the ability to rewind live, but I like it because it's just nice to be able to to go back and see things before we uh, before we um, you know end the stream. And Cassie, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Saying, get yourself a warm coffee, guys. Cheers, Cassie. Appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Cassie. Were we listening to her music yesterday on Southside? No, that was Casilo. Oh, okay. <laughs> too, there's too many, too many <laughs> too of many your C's. friends. <laughs> Can you stop bringing your friends into this chat, confusing <laughs> me, please? Oh, that'll make her laugh, that, actually, because she knows her as well. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> we were listening to her music, though, on, on, uh, on Southside, including uh, you had some tunes on as well. 
Yeah, we had a good time, didn't we, yesterday? Like, you need, it was you quiet. Need, you we need to just keep warm. Blasting the tunes. We were just there on our own, relaxing, filming planes, taking pictures. I saw loads of pictures yesterday. We actually saw the Brussels Red Devils livery yesterday. Oh, yeah, the that sun, was which naughty. Was really nice. That's, that's up on our Instagram and Twitter today, actually. That's such a good livery. That like I, I didn't notice it, but the little horns, like the 3D horns at the front, like really make it really look good. Luke Brown, have you planned to do any evening streams at East Midlands this year? 100% we'll be back there in the summer when we yeah. have some longer evenings. Yeah, I just don't fancy doing a, a night stream there because I know it's, it's quite cool to see the night ops there, but... Like, you, it's just the runway is too dark there is the problem, so you don't see it. Can we get some bing bongs in the chat for Cassie, by the way? Appreciate that, Cassie. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Cassie with the flip, yeah. <laughs> she knows. She knows. She's aware. All these inside jokes, say. I was going to say, I'm left out of that one as well. Know, so, so is 1,600 <laughs> people in the chat as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't delve too much into that. Fair enough. But yeah, that uh, Premier Terminal doesn't get used for it. I don't even think it's open at the moment. And uh, that BMW, which I think is quite a nice car, and I am looking for a new car at the moment. I'm not really, but... So can I say, some upgrade that from an Astro, lad. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's sat there and he's actually like, you know what? That 7 Series. That 7 Series. Do. I wouldn't mind that. I'd, I think I'd look good in that, to be honest. It's I think like, you'd look fresh in that as well. Yeah. I don't think your bank balance would. <laughs> get some airliners live stickers on there as well. <laughs> I think it look pretty naughty to be honest. Maybe we could like say them, say to them, you know. I'll, Listen, I'll get, while you're not using it, you know, I'll I'll take care of it. I'll give it a wash <laughs> when I give it back. I'll fill up the, the tank and all that. You yeah. know. Millipede, hello, and I see you on Twitch. Hope you're doing well. Hey, another old friend of mine, Millipede. How you doing, dude? Got all my squads in today, aren't they? They are, aren't they? I remember. When you, back in the day, and I used to enjoy these, and I th and I think you should, well, you probably don't have time, but I think they should definitely come back if you had time. Was the um, was it like the thirty minute challenge you used to do, or the hour challenge? What's that? Where you used to, have to write music. You had a theme. Oh, that and, I used to do. And you used to have yeah, a challenge, dude. and you had to do it within a certain amount of time. I used to buzz off watching that. Uh, Millipede used to join in on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. There's a name. Salmon Roll Adventures with a 499 Super Chat. Bing bong. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Nice, dude. Appreciate your company, Salmon Roll. And thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, they were they were really cool. Yeah, I used to, ladies and gents, I used to make music, basically. And uh, maybe I might post some of my work on the VIP yeah, lounge. Yeah, I'll be honest. So. Like Andy saying I used to make music, guys. Honestly, if you listen to some of the stuff, it is really good. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. I, it don't, I, don't, I hate bragging about myself. I hate talking about myself. I was always my my Achilles heel of, like, being uh, a sole trader was, like, I don't like bragging. You know, like, if someone else is doing something, I want to give them the love and be like, yo, you're doing a really good job, though, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mm. want to be, like, the, the spotlight on me all the time. Um, but, yeah, and one thing I used to do was, like, we had, like, an hour to produce a song for a, th a, th a scenario. And uh, it was usually like a, a film scenario or something. Am I what? Tram no. I yeah, yeah, I, you are. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't go to the games anymore. Is the problem? Yeah, why are you? Nice, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't have time to go to the games. Is the problem? I'm, I'm too busy yeah, these days. I was well confused. Then I'll be honest. I'm glad you picked that up. <laughs> yeah, no, I've not been for ages. I used to go all the time, and it's still quite cheap to go. Like so. Maybe I might do one one day. Let's go I need someone to go with her. Well, it's busy there's no Everton, no Liverpool games, so. Right, okay. There you go. And it's uh, playing top of the league now, people are going. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes, eh? To go for a cheeky <laughs> visit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Take like the live stream. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it, dude. Nice, nice one, dude. Well, we're fussing around doing things. Yeah. 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 Mega. Appreciate Best it. Best time to do it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LA Live, they're always... Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, they, yeah, they top them, lads. Yeah, we've got a lot of time for them. Yeah, they yeah, are good. Thank you. But they've got the, they've got the planes here. Well, that, that's what we were saying earlier on. Yeah, they're very fortunate. It's just constant in it all day long. 24 left, 24 right. And just eight and nine lined up at once them, waiting. Yep. Mental. C17 out the other day. The other morning, uh, two just yeah, I, I saw that as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mega. Brilliant. Up. Cheers, Thank pal. you. Thank you so much. Mate. There you go. Luke is saying nothing wrong with a bit of self-promotion. He does it all the time. I know. people. Are, some people are really good at it. I'm good at 
the thing about Airliners Live is because I'm so proud of it as a business. Like it doesn't feel like it's me and Martin. It's like it's like our child, right? It's like yeah. it's like something that we promote on behalf of Airliners Live. So I don't feel a, a sellout as much by trying to like encourage donations and merch orders and stuff. But if it was me personally, I don't know. I feel a bit like strange. I don't know. Barney saying he's currently spotting. Um, at Bristol Airport, Andy's watching us at the fl- same time, so he's like dual spotting. I've heard of a lot of people spotting at Bristol. What what even goes on in Bristol? I can just imagine a lot of like pipers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they do have commercial airliners. They do have. I think it's EasyJet. Is it based there? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's just EasyJet. I don't know. You have to tell me. I might be confusing that with another airport. Blackpool's another one that used to have a lot of commercial operation, and, mm. and then it's just now it's just like it's all like, just light aircraft, and yeah, which is crazy because it's a it's quite a be- big airport. Like Nico uh, Rosberg has nothing. <laughs> I'm sure something goes on, Nico. Nothing. Um, why do you guys only work two days per week? Oh, where, that's a good that's a good question. Where, where have you got that from, Nate? What, we stream two. We days stream a week. two days a week, dude. That's not. That's not the only thing that the channel requires to, to keep moving, dude. Yeah, this week was... Uh, well, we didn't have a day off this week. We were busy every no, day. No, we, we worked every day this week. And next week will be the same. Woohoo! <laughs> now we... Um, I mean, we can run through this week. I mean, I, I think it's... I think it's something I do want to clear up because that's the sort of comment that does come in quite a lot, and it's yeah, they don't, they don't, it's, they don't um, see it though, do they? That's why. That's I what I mean. So Monday, what we do? So Monday, Tuesday, we were just literally editing footage constantly yeah, getting the stuff ready for the the, the uh, memorabilia stand designing a merch yeah Monday we were uh, also designing all the new merch ideas which obviously we've announced on today's show Wednesday um, we were I think we were editing again on Wednesday um, we also had a meeting on Wednesday about Project V uh, which was Ooh, a big yeah. a big meeting um, and then Thursday we were out filming which was yesterday um, we were out filming from 10.30 in the morning until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and then we came home, I edited all the fo- uh, all the pictures that I took from there and finished about half 7 and then today we're um, we're out live streaming. So yeah, I think the, it's very easy to just see the live streams and just think for the rest of the week, oh yeah. why aren't the guys live streaming, we could be live streaming every day and yeah. There's just a lot more that goes on in the channel. I mean, last week we were super busy because we had our tax return to do, so that was a, a week spent just doing admin. There's there's loads and loads of stuff that goes on behind the scenes because don't forget we're putting um, a video up on Facebook every two days. Yeah, or sometimes um, every day, sometimes. Or every <laughs> day. Um, we also have YouTube footage going up all the time. We've got the vlogs. we got all the pictures that go up on the social media, the Instagram posts. We post on Instagram and Twitter every single day, so yep. we're constantly adding pictures for those. Ooh. So there's there's absolutely loads going on behind the scenes um, yeah. that, that keep Airliners Live ticking over between the live shows, right? Yeah, and filming days as well. Yeah, doing the vlogs and stuff and yeah. planning the next vlog. And so yesterday when we were out filming was actually, we try and give ourselves Thursdays and Saturdays off. Um, but <laughs> yesterday like, was, <laughs> we were just out filming all day. So. And then we came and we edited, we worked more on the merch, and then we had the meeting in the in the night. Yeah, we had another meeting for Project V last night as well. That was about 9pm last night we started that meeting. So, yeah, yeah it is a non-stop, uh, a non-stop thing that goes on. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When, when me and Martin quit our jobs like two months ago, we went, you know what, this will give us a bit of free time, we can focus on our... Oh no, kind of like work-life balance, but I feel like we're we're just as busy, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Parkinson, thanks very much for the twenty-five pound super oh, chat. Tony. Bing bong says no access to Twitch right now, uh, so the gift subs will have to wait until Sunday. No worries, Tony. I mean, listen, the super chats are probably, if not more, valuable to the channel. So thank you very much, man. Really Cheers, appreciate Tony. that. I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, we're we're loving it, guys. Like that's by no means a complaint from our end. Like the reason we put all these hours in and we work yesterday's on our day off is just because we love what we're doing and yeah, yeah, we're yeah. super fortunate to be able to be doing it as well like yeah. me and Andy I think three times yesterday I said to Andy like man I can't believe this is our job yeah it's mad isn't it <laughs> when we were talking yesterday and I said man this is crazy we're, we're yeah. out filming planes and it's our day off and we're, we're still 
do you know what I mean? This, this this is supposed to be work, but it don't feel like work because we're doing what we enjoy. It's yep. yeah, we're, we're both super hyped. And one of the reasons why we diversify so much, not only do we have like a lot of potential in the channel and lots of different avenues, but also here at the airport, we can't just stream every day mm -hmm. because uh, there's just not enough traffic and there's not enough variety. The area that we're in, there's not enough variety in like airports. You know, we're in the northwest, so what we got, we got like Liverpool, Harden. <laughs> I mean, That's Manchester, it. Yeah. obviously City Airport as well. And it's just not enough to just bring live shows. So we like to diversify. We like to edit videos. We've got an amazing camera here that does awesome 4K footage on an amazing tripod. We've got a great audio setup. We know our stuff when it comes to editing, color work, you know, visual effects if we want to do that, whatever, uh, creating vlogs and things like that. And it's just like we might as well give the channel the biggest potential of uh, doing well as we can just like every avenue that we're good at push a full speed you know like really give it a good try because I don't want this just to be a live aviation channel as much as that's what you guys love mm -hmm. I want it to be that and more yeah and we've got loads of ideas and honestly like Project V is, is going to be a huge thing um, coming up hopefully in the next I don't know. I mean, we'll start I mean, seeing the, parts of it soon. Parts of Project V will become apparent in the next few weeks. Um, but the major, major announcement is probably going to come in the summer. I'd say the summer, yeah, is like the goal. Um, but yeah, there's, honestly, guys, the, it's looking good. I wish we could tell you everything that's going on behind the scenes because there's some big, big things happening. Yeah, I can't wait. And uh, Nate Dog with a $5 super chat saying thanks for your answer, guys. No worries, mate. Apologies if I sounded a bit defensive when I first read your messages. Yeah, it's a message that usually is followed by negativity, but I think you were just asking in, in a positive way, so that's my bad, dude. But, uh, yeah, thanks very much. And, yeah, we don't mind explaining what we do behind the scenes. Um, and like Andy says, I think when the airport gets a lot busier, midweek streams will probably be quite a regular thing yeah. for us then. Evening shows will be fun, I think. Yeah. But uh, here's the uh, JFK service on the roll. We've got an aircraft yeah. finally, and we've got BA on the way out behind as well. A321 Neo long range version. Cheers, James, tuning in from Ireland. Nice to see you, mate. Welcome, James. Hope things are well over there. I've been keeping an eye on Dublin Airport. Uh, just curious about how busy it's getting these days. And it's looking like it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting mm. there, no? It's good. Thanks, Millipede. That's uh, that's really kind. Glad you're enjoying the uh, the stream as well. So yeah, we're gonna get there. I think uh, we're obviously already there. We're like full time. This is our job, dude. Yeah, flying architect saying always find a job or work in something that you enjoy. That's exactly what you guys have done. Uh, I wish I was working with something that I truly uh, loved and was passionate about. Yeah, we honestly, guys, it's, we we never take it for granted um, yeah. what we've got on airliners live, and that's not to say we haven't worked hard for it because we really have. Um, but I think we're also very fortunate as well. Um, the timing when we came to the channel, it was just starting to pop off in in live aviation, and we were there right at the beginning um, as it really started to tick off. And um, and obviously we've we've put the hard work in with the improvements, we've put the money in with the equipment, and uh, the end result we just couldn't be happier with it. And and like I say, just being able to uh, being able to do this as a full time job is is uh, yeah something we're super proud of. And yeah, I never thought a couple of years ago this this would be a thing. Honestly, I think it was our aim to be part time. It was yeah. By now, I would have been happy <laughs> with that because you know would have liked for like work in the day to pay for my bills and stuff and then have the time to 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 push airliners live like yeah of course full time was 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 would have been lovely yeah but being able to um do it full time i mean we gave the channel a massive push yeah and we thought you know what i think we can do it let's just go for it and we went nuts we made as much content as we could and yeah yeah that's it we um yeah we were we here we are Air yeah, Lingus. Greg, I uh, read your message out a couple of times, Greg, yeah. Air Lingus Flight 204 from Dublin, this is, in the, the new livery, but it's an older aircraft. See the uh, the lack of uh, sharklets on this A320. Usually uh, says it's a bit of an older plane. 
And Greg, yeah, I, uh, I read Millipede's message out as well, just above you, dude. What was Millipede's message? Uh, just saying um, thanks to you guys for all the hard work and dedication. You're all amazing. <laughs> Cheers, Millie. Welcome, Mark. And Paul saying, uh, never thought about it uh, till now. Um, but I suspect your uh you guys have unlimited data for the streams um multi no. multiple yeah multiple data packages yeah yeah we have uh <laughs> yeah well, i think we have like three don't we or something yeah we we you wouldn't just run on on one but uh networking you know from remote locations like we do it's it's not easy yeah it's been a lot of trial and error victor saying i worked office jobs for 30 years before finally becoming a professional artist in 2010 yo I always follow your dream guys victor i'd uh, i'd love to see you work mate if you um, want to drop us a message yeah that'd be fantastic well done man roger tuning in from uh, knoxville tennessee welcome to you roger Tennessee. Got a wave there from the captain on board the Air Lingus Flight 204 from Dublin. I love the engine colour on these, you know. They look a bit more blue on the stream, but they're a little bit more green in person, I think. Yeah, it might be that 5500 setting that I was talking about last time. Might, yeah. might clear up them colours. It looks a, like bit. a little bit blue on the stream. It's quite a greeny tint. I think it does seem to tilt to the warm, that yeah. camera. Would you guys consider three days a week? Yeah, when the airport's back to full capacity, I think three days a week would probably be quite regular yeah, for us. Yeah, because we could do Friday, Sunday, and then we can have like a midweek show. Yeah. Honestly, it's something that we want to do, but it's just, it's just, especially in the last few weeks, it's gotten quieter. Yeah. So, and we wanted to do one this week, and it's just, it's just. We looked at the traffic, and there's just, there's just not enough traffic, guys, at the <laughs> moment. There really isn't. Um, but yeah, the, uh, put it this way, there will be more streams coming, guys and and yeah that that is in the making at the moment so yeah and this week coming there definitely will be a midweek show yes from a different location yeah you'll uh you'll see soon it's somewhere, Shannon somewhere saying, fun. Uh, tuning in from perth australia i've been tuning in over the last couple of weeks loving the channel keep up the great work i miss coming to manchester airport thanks shannon glad you're enjoying the stream as well and uh appreciate the um appreciate the support Victor Tilson saying, uh, "Just look up my name on Instagram. Lots of my stuff on there. Awesome! I'll uh, I'll remember to do that. Do let me take a uh, a screen. Oh, actually, I can't because that's not the phone I use. We'll remember. We'll check it when we get home. Yeah. <coughs> vintage radio repair shop. I gave up my day job eleven years ago to set up my vintage um, radio repair business. Um, it's a joy every day to work. Oh, yo! What that's a passion awesome. that is as that's well. So cool, man." You can see over there the airport pub with a bunch of scaffolding on it. It's currently closed for refurbishment. Looks like a big job they're doing on it. I think they're mm. doing work on the roof. They're doing work on the conservatories they have. So that'll be exciting to see how that goes. March should see a bigger load of traffic, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. I think February, you know, mid-February. I think March they have the school holidays, is it, in March as well? I don't know. But I think they do. Uh, and obviously easing restrictions and there's a bunch of new airlines coming to to manchester in march including one existing airline qatar apparently bringing the a380 to manchester so mm. wayne asking can we give him a letter of absence for work so he can tune in the midweek <laughs> special <laughs> listen oh. might have to give you a secret code for the merch store <laughs> yeah a weekly subscription yeah no, the, the, it'll be, it'll be a, a little bit of fun, this midweek show. It's somewhere that we've not... I'm not going to give you too much information, but... We haven't been before. We haven't been before, yeah. I'll give you that. And it's somewhere It's somewhere silly, somewhere fun. Might do no two... No worries, Greg. Glad you're enjoying the stream, dude. Might do two shows, but... Uh, yeah, maybe. I think one show and content is probably a yeah, good... Yeah, that's, good that's what I'm thinking. But then, you know, while you're there, you might as well... We'll just see how it is. T3 is scheduled to open in March. Is it really? So they're expecting an increase. 
Magnus, cheers for the 20 sack, dude. Keep up the good work. Cheers, man. Appreciate you, Magnus. Thanks a lot, Bing Bong. I think when Terminal 3 opens, that'll be a real good sign. Yeah. Yeah, Mar I think March will be a good month, though, especially it's when the weather my gets better. birthday month as well, so that'll be a nice present if Manchester Airport goes nuts. <laughs> yep. That's very true. The Mac Loop. That'd be a bit of a boring stream, that, if I'm honest. Yeah, it would. It'd literally be <laughs> all hell for two minutes and then nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> hey, a bit like Manchester, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, staring at a field for... <laughs> for uh, Hours and hours. We actually, you're up the side of a mountain. Yeah. And you fly through the valley in between. It's it's pretty crazy place. Yeah. And there's a fake rock up there as well. Who knows about the fake rock, guys? Oh, I, I think I know about this. But that blew my mind the first time someone showed me that. I, I don't know the whole story of it, but I think I know what it is. The fake rock. Is it big? A big fake rock. Yeah, it's pretty chunky. It's like... Like this big. Oh wow. It's pretty pretty big. Dubai Airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. See me try there. Last about five seconds before you get bundled into the back of a van. <laughs> <laughs> Mac Leap is hit and miss. I don't understand. Yeah, the, I uh, went off for two days straight and saw nothing once. Jesus. So And you have to expect that as well. So it's kind of fortunate that it's got a really nice view. But yeah, so the the rock is basically a, a beacon. I think it's like a, a radar aid. Mm. Some sort of beacon. And you go over, you knock on it, it's plastic. Wow. The guy went, oh, go knock on that rock over there. I was like, yeah, all right, mate. Because I was with my <laughs> missus and I couldn't put my tent up properly and he was helping me with my tent. I thought he was winding me up. No, oh, no, go, go and knock on that rock. <laughs> so I went over and I was like, oh, he's, he's going to laugh his head off when I knock on this rock in a minute. <laughs> I knocked it and it went dung dung dung. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It looks super real, man. You wouldn't know. That would have been a weird prank, wouldn't it? Ah, I got you. Ah, mate. You, you knocked, knocked on a rock. You knocked on it. But yeah, you wouldn't know if you just walked past it. It looks super realistic. <laughs> right. Yeah, the it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the fake rock is like, um, I think it's a radar beacon, L. Smith. It's something to do with navigation anyway. And, uh, yeah, it's right on, um, it's right on the, the CAD pass-through. That's cool. There's a lot of walking involved. Like, I'm guessing you can't really park anywhere near, and you got to. Um, so you park relatively close, and then you but you have to walk up like a really steep hill to get there. Uh, I'm not sure what's changed, but I know you have to go through some farmers' land. So you basically, there's like a an agreement with a farmer to to make sure the gate's shut and you're not leaving rubbish and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, the uh, you just walk up. It is quite steep, but you can park quite close. To be fair. Make sure you don't forget to hit the like button, ladies and gents, if you're watching on YouTube. Oh, nice, Richard. So, you know, I've just looked, and it's possible to book American Airlines from four destinations to Manchester from March. American Airlines? Well, is that like a code share thing, though? Is that like a... Is it, so the code share Virgin? British Airways a code share with, I know. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because the um, cause American used to be operated here. No. Did it used to operate? Is that direct, though, Richard? Dude, that, that'd be a big find if you just noticed that, though. I'm pretty sure they code share with British Airways, so... Um, cause they did used to have a... Uh, it's an A330, wasn't it, operating out? American? Mm. Yeah, and I think Dreamliner as well. Yeah. To... was that like Atlanta or something? Heathrow, yeah, I think it's going to be a code share thing. Yo, if they come back though, that'd be pretty naughty, wouldn't it? American Airlines and United should be coming back. Uh, US Airways should be coming back. If we get a bit of JetBlue here, that'd be well nice. I think I think a JetBlue route would work well. Cheers, Graham. Tuning in from South Africa. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. Although Manchester JFK is already already a thing in it, like you can fly mm. with Virgin or you can fly with Aer Lingus. I think they've got to got their first Aer Lingus. 
EasyJet just uh, on the line up there and he's on his way to Munich. Uh, it's uh, flight uh, 1887. Oh, is this, what's the reg? Oh, uh, no, someone said it was the flying toilet. It's not. Oh, okay. That's not uh, the flying toilet. Seven-year-old aircraft, the reg is a whiskey Yankee. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not the flying toilet, I'm afraid. Although the flying toilet is an A320 as well, not a Neo. Yeah, it is BA via London Heathrow, shame. Ah. Turkish A321, really quick turnaround on that. Yep. It gets you sometimes, them code shares, because you'll be at an airport and you'll look at the departures board and it'll say, like, let's say I'm on, like, a... Uh, for example, I was at Heathrow flying to Madrid a couple of months ago, and it was like uh, your flight, whatever, to Madrid, and then it had Iberia next to it. And I was like, Iberia? I'm not flying with Iberia at all. But it's like a code sharing thing, right? Right. So, like, they'll cycle through the different airlines that you could be, uh, I guess, transferring with. ATC, why not? Off come. Not allowed to. Ofcom. <laughs> Maybe we should have an Ofcom command. Yeah. <laughs> ATC command. That would actually be quite useful. Yeah, I'll add that. I'll add that. Remind me uh, later on, I'll add it. Yeah. ATC command. Hope you're enjoying the show today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bradley, nice to see you over on Twitch. Cheers, dude. I got a flying toilet. It's just like a celebrity on this, yeah. on this channel. We haven't seen it for a long time. Tui Dreamliner pinging up for Bridgetown. We'll be seeing that very shortly. Nice. But yeah, they uh, they're probably not too happy with with us naming it the Flying Toilet. But there we go. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, <laughs> David, I, I guess we'll uh, delete that message, dude. <laughs> what a weird thing to type. Yeah, Matt, it's, uh, Matt, Matt just sent a message, yeah, I agree, and it's crazy, I don't know. It just seems like the, the amount of traffic at Manchester in the last few weeks has just dropped a lot. I don't know. It really has. I don't know what's happened, like, to warrant that. F. Cooper, thanks for the raid, dude. Welcome, Raiders, with uh, nine viewers. Welcome, guys. You're watching Airliners Live. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the stream, if you're new. Does Manchester get any A350s? Uh, only one airline that you, I see consistently. And that's Singapore. Yeah. They've got two different routes that they fly out of Manchester. One to Kuala Lumpur and one to Houston. Uh, so we see them usually on our morning shows. <laughs> Used to have more though. In fact, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, there is a Virgin Atlantic A350 currently stored here at Manchester. I don't know which which one it is. Oh, he was live streaming London Control on Vatsim. That's awesome. That's fantastic, man. Hope you had a great stream. Thanks for raiding the channel as well. We've also got a Virgin Atlantic A330 pinging up on the ground. Nice. To Islamabad at the moment. Flight 362. That's not pinging up, so that's down at uh, Terminal 2. We are into about the last half an hour or so of today's show, ladies and gents. If you are new, make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. And the aircraft that is down at the start of the runway down there, you can just about see the tail behind our favourite post. You know, we only have one lamppost really in the way and it just happens to be in the worst position. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have placed it any worse. Is uh, Turkish Airlines Flight 1994. To uh, Istanbul, and that is a Turkish Airlines a Airbus A321 Neo. Registration on that is Tango Charlie Lima Sierra Yankee. And speaking of Istanbul, there's also another aircraft on the ground here at Manchester, another Neo, an A320 Neo this time, off to Istanbul as well. It's a Pegasus Airlines uh, flight uh, 1180. And that's Tango Charlie, November Charlie Charlie on the registration there. SKW's tuning in from the Isles of Scilly. You should come to here to St. Mary's Airport. There's a DC-6 Twin Otters 
um, DC6 Twin Otters and also some DC6 Twin Otters. It would make for a hell of a show, guys. <laughs> <That's KW. laughs> Do you have any of them DC6 <laughs> twi Twin Otters? <laughs> Cheers, Victor. Take care, mate. Thanks for tuning in, man. Yes. On the blink again. Yeah, I just stopped working for some reason. I was that departed, so I had to like grab it with my hands. Louise, thanks very much for the three months of business class. Thanks for being the best aviation channel. No worries, Louise. Thanks hey. for tuning in. We try our best. Appreciate that. Try our best given the uh, the quiet traffic levels mm -hmm. here in Manchester, but we're still here to capture them. I think Airliners Live will really sort of grow into its boots when the airport gets nice and busy again. Yeah, I feel like I've been saying that for two years now. I know. <laughs> we literally have. <laughs> like a broken record. So when the airport gets busy, when we finally I get I promise, there. guys, this airport gets a lot busier when COVID shows up. <laughs> I promise. Well. Yeah, the TUI Dreamliner, that's uh, now pinging. I think it's getting pushed back right now. Down uh, at Terminal 2 is um, flight uh, 116. And the registration on that is Golf Tango Uniform India Mike. It's up to Bridgetown. Slightly warmer than here over there. Just a bit. I wonder if they've like. I wonder how the restrictions are over there. Because I remember a couple of people I know went over there in uh, last year and said the restrictions were really, really uh, strict. So it kind of uh, made enjoying the holidays a bit tricky. <laughs> there is an easy jet to uh, from Malaga on the way in too. That'll be in soon, it's on the downwind at the moment. I forgot I had my knee brace on then, it didn't bend as much as I expected, it broke oh my yeah. nose. Oh dear. Oh. I wonder if we can see that easy jet on approach, I don't think I can. 6,000 uh, feet. On a pot pie? Um, I mean, if it's going, I'll have it. Mate, should we have a pot pie? Just a pot pie. Hey, also. Talking to that. <laughs> Shift our microphones. We're going to have a quick pork pie break, guys. Give us a minute. Why not? Pork pie break? Is that why you brought two? Pork what pie. What was the two so you could have two no, for no. yourself? No, no. Wow. So, we might have a little pork it's pie break thoughtful. at some point during the stream today. <laughs> Maybe we should make this a regular thing. Pork pie break. Thanks, Louise. Really appreciate that. So yeah, that easy jet, I was just seeing if I could see it visually, but I can't. It's currently on the downwind into Manchester, just south of the airfield, or to the to the west, to the east now, sorry. Um, that's from Malaga, it's an Airbus A320, flights 21, uh, 86, 7. Uh, and the registration on this is Oscar X-Ray. I've not seen this one before, like an ox. It's the bull. Pop I should be a regular one. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Liam just saying he's looking at booking the first family holiday for the first time in two years thinking Greece will be definitely flying from Manchester mm. nice Greece 
is a really good destination. Really, really good. Like, it's beautiful country, great food, great climate, especially in the summer. Me personally, I want to go to, uh, it's a purely as a holiday, to um, Crete. I think Crete looks beautiful. But then, um, as Airliners Live, I'd love to go to Skiathos. That looks like a really good place for spotting. Just because how close you can get to the action. It's a bit of me. Disney Dave, you know what it's all about. Bit of brown sauce on the pork pie. You know what, I don't mind any of the sauces really. A bit of red sauce, brown sauce, barbecue sauce. Mustard is another good one. A bit of mustard on a pork pie. I've never had that. <coughs> never had the need to put sauce on a pork pie. Like I'm quite happy with it as it is. <laughs> Brent's saying, there aren't as many planes as LA flights, but it leaves more time uh, in gaps for conversation. Great job, guys. Thank you, Brent. Yeah, we tried to keep it I never really thought about it like that as a positive. I, yeah. guess, I guess it is. Um, I've always kind of thought that the conversation between flights is something we should try and like hope hope the planes fill the gaps. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, no, I suppose I suppose if you if you guys are enjoying it. Yep. Crete is nice. Yeah. My dad went to Crete like about ten years ago, and he got so badly sunburned he had to go to the hospital and come home early. And he was like, uh, he basically couldn't, he had a, a sunburnt leg, and it was like really bad. Wow, it was like, literally looks like an actual burn from a fire. And he was out of work for ages, and you know, in a cast for weeks, and all this. It's like, wow. Like, how, what, did he just forget to sun cream that I one leg? So, yeah, like, I, I don't know, I don't, I really don't know. But it must have been pretty, the UV must have been pretty intense there, if, if, if you did, did that. What's this doing? What? The Logan? No, the... the what's he towing down the Oh, yeah, he's, he's doing something, isn't he? Yeah. What is this? What are you doing? It's like a grit thing, I don't know. Oh, we were saying we wouldn't use grit, wouldn't we, because of the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's go zoom in on that. Spraying something, right? Spraying something. <laughs> oh, I hear a 3.30. There it is. <laughs> As if I noticed that from the sound. <laughs> we heard like a little howl sound. You might have heard it on the stream. Uh, we'll say 3.30. It's such a distinct noise. Whoop whoop, how on the go, exactly. A <laughs> V1. <laughs> There's always someone who writes that. <clears throat> got a Virgin Atlantic A330 off to Islamabad. First of all, we've got this Logan Air. I think it's going to... I don't actually know, is it Isle of Man? I think I'm wrong there. I've sent Debbie from the Aviation Society a, uh, a message. She'll know, she'll know what that is. If you do want to check out the Aviation Society, guys, search for Manchester TAS on Facebook, a fantastic society here at Manchester. Um, loads of uh, great things going on. They had uh, one of their first social evenings, actually, in the cafe the other night with Logan Air um, speaking, which was fantastic. Well, there you go, Logan Air, currently on the active. <laughs> yeah, so that was great. And um, they are looking at returning to their trips as well, so check out the Aviation Society, ladies and gents. Yeah, they, they do us a lot of favours on the channel. We're also members of the Aviation Society. Yep. They're testing the braking capabilities on a wet runway. But what's that machine then? Yeah, I don't, I don't get, I don't get that. That doesn't make sense to me. Dreamliner on the way out, as well as the uh, Virgin A330. Yep, and the Pegasus Neo. Got three aircraft on the taxi out, which is good to see. This is how it works, isn't it? You see nothing, and then you see loads. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, no. They're saying it looks like a grip test. They're wetting the surface and measuring resistance on the wheel. Okay. Ah. Okay. That's pretty cool. But why? <laughs> well, I guess it's just part of the... It's, it's part of the uh, 
airfield conditions in it for the um <clears throat> Atis. Yep. It's a grip tester. We use them on the highways to test skid resistance. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. There you go. Never seen that before. My <laughs> son thinks it might be glue to help him slow down. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> just glue on the runway so you don't have to use any brakes. Gorilla. You'd just be all of, off <laughs> at this stops the intersection <laughs> right in front of us. Yeah. The aircraft just stopped dead when they touched down. The machine will have a wheel in the middle um, that they can break from the van, which gives the friction of the surface. Wow, oh, that's really cool. Man. Again, like I've been to the airport so many times, and that's literally the first time I've ever seen it's that. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. Cool up. There we go. The Virgin A330 is at the roundabout down by Juliet 1. Obviously holding, waiting for this easy jet to arrive from Malaga. Um, and Ross, uh, uh, Ross, thank you very much for your 4.99. The super chat saying good morning from El Segundo, California. Reverse operations at LAX uh, might happen today due to Santa Ana wind conditions. Uh, good to see your stream. Cheers, Ross. Thanks for checking us out, man. Did you come from uh, LA flights? Shout out, dude. Or have you been following us for a while? Yeah, them guys shout us out quite often. Yeah. Yeah, so they drop water and the wheel uh, detects the resistance. It's useful as rubber build-up can reduce friction. Nice. There you go. Learn something new every day, guys. We live stream here twice a week and we're still learning lots of things. I'm going to propose a name for this. I, I said it before. We call it the Flying Bull. Okay. Because the reg is Ox. <laughs> Oscar X ray. There's only so many names you can give something with an, a, an X yeah. in there, you know. Should we try for a wave? I got a wave back from the. Uh, what was it? Was it EasyJet Pilot, I think? Four. Or so Vegas, maybe. There you hey, go. Hey, <laughs> boy, straight away. Great to see. Away from the uh, first officer. Virgin rolling. As soon as we wave to them, they wave back. Sky looking beautiful behind the aircraft. Yeah, it is. Really pretty. Some wingtip vortices on the uh, rotation now, but they're not lasting very long today, unfortunately. Yeah. So that's a Virgin A330 off to Islamabad. There's plenty more aircraft lining up. There's the Pegasus A320 will be the next out. How are we looking on likes, ladies and gents, on today's show? Yeah, make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already. You want to try and hit 2,000. We've almost got 2,000 people watching, so it's definitely doable. If you all hit the like button now, let's see what we can get it to. I want to try and get 2,000 by the end of today's show. Let's try our best. Aim high, right? we got a wave as well from the first officer 
on the EasyJet flight. Got the A380, hurry up, I need <laughs> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> is what it is. It's meant to be due out now, but it's always a little bit late. It's been out about half uh, one most days in the last few weeks, which is quite good. Yeah, so just under 20 minutes. Usually, anyway. We'll see. Are there any other major channels live at the moment, Mods, or is it just us? Because I've noticed viewership numbers on the Friday show are, have been quite low recently. I don't know. Like, I had, I had a quick look. It looked, it looked like it was only us. Weird, eh? Because mm. the Fridays used to really pop off. It used to be like we used to be getting like three k viewers sometimes. Yeah, that's been quite quiet. I, I suppose the airport's down bad a bit at the minute. Yeah. Wow, that's up quick though. Pegasus Falcon, new member. Welcome, dude. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. Pegasus A320 Neo up very quick there. They do have a lot of power, the Neos. Yeah, lots of people no longer working from home saying, Tony, yeah, that's probably a good shout, actually, Tony. Yeah, maybe, yeah, because that coincides with Fridays, doesn't it? Yeah, because we were, we were seeing sort of 3,000 viewers on Fridays um, in quite a lot of the streams. Yep. To your Dreamliner to Bridgetown uh, Dash 9 out next. Uh, that is a three-year-old aircraft, flight um, 43 Alpha. And uh, that's a route of 4,164 miles. Quite a long way. Yeah, that's that's an interesting one, yeah. I didn't think of that. Connecting the dots, you guys, in the chat. Yeah, that's why we love chatting to you guys. Always uh, pointing out what should have been obvious, to be honest, but I didn't even, I didn't even think of that. So thanks, guys. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah, because Sunday just got on the viewership was pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it was. Even so considering we put a motion someone forward for all bosses to allow airliners live in the office. Ah, <laughs> yes. Communally. Wow, long rotation there. And Sunday was good, even though someone decided to go live at the same time mm. as us as well. Yeah. Like, using a lot of runway, the 2E Dreamliner. Packet Loss says, airline is live. Blimey, cracking audio since my last visit to the channel. Yes, that was ah. a very big upgrade in the last month or so, mate. We, uh, we put a huge amount of uh, money into a new audio system, and uh, yeah, it's certainly, uh, certainly paying off. She's very heavy. We also have the Norwegian 737 from earlier. Now pinging up is now on the taxi out of Terminal 2. That's on its way back to Oslo. Flight 1349. Registration Lima, November. Echo, November, Oscar. On the taxi out. We've also got a Ryanair on approach at the moment. It's currently on the base leg. Nice, Jake. I love a good egg custard. <laughs> Howdy, guys. Uh, you're doing a bang up job. Thanks for sharing your love of planes with us who share the same love. Enjoy the bird shots too, says Greg <laughs> in the YouTube. The bird shots, there you go. Thank you, man. We don't mess around, do we? We've got big birds and small birds. And everything in between. Certainly do. <laughs> and uh, it's a Ryanair UK uh, aircraft on the approach uh, flight 32 33. Uh, Golf Romeo Uniform Kilo Golf as uh, G Crow just uh, departs from Manchester Airport. It's got them ping emotes in the chat, guys. Oh, yeah, look what we got. Look what we got. Pinging on the ground. Woo! 
something special and something that's not too late today by the looks of it. You know what I mean. Get home and John will be like, what are you doing home so early? <laughs> You're not late today, what's going on? <laughs> and uh, Michael Heller just saying, just subscribed from Columbus, Ohio. Great video mates, keep it up. Michael, a huge welcome to the community. Let's get some uh, wave emotes for Michael in the chat, guys. Welcome, Brand dude. new viewer in the, in the uh, community on YouTube. Nice to have you with us. What car is that? BMW 7, Seven series? series, yeah. I always love to see brand new viewers coming in and introducing themselves in the chat because our, our community always gives everyone a warm welcome, guys. Yeah, I, I, I always park it there, to be fair, but I might I might move it next time. <laughs> 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 I might try the task shop again today, see if I can get my uh, oh, your, jacket. Your fleece, yeah, we tried to buy a fleece, didn't you? Dude? I think I saw Alison in there, so I think I can get her to uh, order one if, uh, if they don't have it in stock. G Crow, there you go. Northern Aviation, nice to see you on uh, Twitch and uh, Bake. Nice to see you guys. The boys, let's go, he says in the chat. Yeah, boy. And I think Sunday we're going to have a big push to 35k subscribers, I yeah. think. Because I think it's very, very realistic to hit it on Sunday. So I want you all tuned in on Sunday. I want the viewers nice and high. I want you all hitting the like button. And I want to hit 20, sorry, 35k. We can do it, guys. Dean Willis, brand new viewer here as well. There you go, Dean. A huge welcome to you as well, mate. And uh, Graham, uh, 12, just subscribed from the US. Welcome, Graham. And ladies and gents, can we give a massive bing bong to Greg, who's just joined business class. He wants all the extra leg room, guys. He's not messing around. Greg, picking his carry-on bag and walking straight into business class. <laughs> Legend. Cheers, Greg. Drone pilot tuning in from Antwerp, Belgium. Nice to see you. And yeah, we'll add the uh, tonight. We'll also add the VIP exclusive mug for those VIPs in the chat. What we'll do is we'll add it to the website at some ludicrous uh, price, but give all the VIPs a discount code that they can use to take it right down to the price of a regular mug. Yeah, I think it'll be the best way to do it. And that is the uh, Ellen's Live logo um, mug with the red inside, the red handle as well. But it says a uh, proud supporter of of Ellen's Live on it and with a VIP logo as well. So you can be very proud when you take it into the office or set up with a brew. Yeah, Chris Rico tuning in from Australia. Nice to see you, mate. When is the A380? That's a good question, dude. It's a good question, man. It's almost like it's uh, it's due out any minute now. Wouldn't that be uh, coincidental? Cheers, Steve. You guys are the Rolls Royce. <laughs> we do our best, Steve. Glad you're enjoying the content, mate. <laughs> we Thank are you. the Rolls Royce. And uh, Louise Wood with a 79 pence super chat. Thank you very much, Louise. Really appreciate that. We just love aviation, and we l we use use this as a platform to uh, to show off what what uh, excitement can come from that. The great sounds, the great views, and the great community as well is like a big one for us as well. Yeah, it certainly does, Louise. Every little helps on the channel, guys. Which is why we keep our chat uh, open to all to get involved. Uh, very welcoming. Obviously, our moderators are fantastic, and we're we're very welcoming to anyone who's new. And yeah, uh, you don't have to pay to be uh, talking in Airlanders Live. You just have to subscribe, which is completely free. So if you are in the chat and you can't talk, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and then refresh your page after five minutes, um, and you'll have access to yeah. to talk in the chat. Um, so yeah, we, we always keep our chat um, free. Martin yeah. has designed a unique mug for me. I have, Paul. I have, mate. <laughs> oh yeah, is that Paul? Paul Davies. Davies yeah. Ah. Oh yeah, I, I know. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> Red nose on the taxi out. The Norwegian. Anoop Sings, uh, tuning in from New Zealand. Love it, guys. Keep it up. Thanks, mate. Glad you're enjoying the show. Lipstick, indeed. We've also got the Ryanair inbound as well. You can just see that on the left of your shot. It is always good to see new members. It's, it's very nice to see people signing up to be a member for the first time as well. Ben Matthews, I think this is a... Are you on an iOS device, Ben Matthews? 
If you are, the mods will put a link in the chat. I'm pretty sure it's an iOS bug at the moment. Um, yeah. So mods, if we can put the link in the chat, um, a bit that'd stream be great. Elements or a nightbot. Uh, there you go. So if you click that Nightbot link, if you want to become a supporter, guys, Nightbots, just put it in. It says become one of our fantastic VIPs by clicking this link. Give that a click, guys, and that'll take you to the page to sign up. And what days do we do this? Uh, it's on Fridays and Sundays at the moment, Graham, 10.30 a.m. Um, although next week um, we will have a midweek show, so keep an eye out on YouTube for the announcement. And Louise, yes. thanks again for a 79 pence super chat. Really appreciate that. Peter Walsh, thank you very much for the generous £5 super chat for like the pie fund, dudes. Got back on himself there, hasn't he, a little he bit? He has, yeah. Thank you very much, um, Peter. £5 for the pie funds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this a new thing? Yeah, we've got some pork pies in. Nice. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. That was a very nice pot pie, that, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> right, right in the shot there, mate. Uh, Adrian just discovered the channel while you're on paternity leave. Keep all the good work. Cheers, Adrian. Really appreciate you, mate. Nice. Hey, Paul ben as well. Matthews, welcome to business class. Bing bong. Really appreciate that, Ben. Thank you, dude. And uh, MJ uh, Scanlon Photography, welcome to premium economy membership. Let's well, got some bing bongs in the chat for those new members, guys. Really appreciate that. Cheers, Ben. Glad that worked out for you, mate. Welcome. Yeah, there's a weird bug where the, the, the member button just isn't there on iOS, and I don't know why. <laughs> this is a glitch, I guess. Mm. <clears throat> we thought people were joking when he said it, but no, they were for real. For real, dog. <laughs> yeah, apparently they, they do chips at the RVP cafe on Fridays, so mm. we'll, we'll go and investigate that. I think, I'll be honest, I think I might swerve the chips today and have a, a sausage balm. Sos or a sausage and we'll, bacon. Will they get it right oh. this time? Yeah. <laughs> and for those who have just become VIPs today, or who have become VIPs and aren't in the VIP lounge, get yourself involved over there. It's over on Facebook. It's an exclusive group of our paying members of Airliners Live. Anyone who's a supporter on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, or Patreon as well. We still have that. Um, you can join the VIP lounge over on Facebook. So go on, go on over and search for the Airliners Live VIP lounge. And I also put, um, I'll be putting updates about the, the secret location of the midweek show as well. Yeah. In there for you VIPs to get an early preview as to where I am in the world. And we're going to be testing a new function on Wednesday, guys. Oh, so, yeah. Um, we're going to be having a remote studio, essentially. Um, so I'm going to be involved in the show. As you know, I'm not the best uh, flyer. So that kind of gives you an idea of where the show's oh, going to be. Go. Yeah, there you go. That's a big hint. Um, but um, I want to be involved in the show. So um, what we're going to try is Andy's going to um, be sending a remote feed to me. Uh, and I'm going to be uh, in the studio and uh, we'll be interacting on the show together um, yeah. live. So it should be. It's a new concept for us. It's something we've not tried before, but I'm exci excited to give it a go. We can give it a test tonight, actually, because now that I've got yeah. that adapter... Most out the cat. Thanks for two months of tier one membership, Bing Bong. Re uh, over on Twitch, really appreciate you, dude. Welcome. S saying thanks for the content. You're welcome, man. A380 is on the move. But yeah, so that's going to be a new thing for us. I hope it's uh, hope it's going to work out well because that'll be that'll be great. It took you a while to figure out, didn't it? Yeah. S stressing and trying to figure out all these links and stuff. So, like I said, if you wanna, if you wanna get an early heads up as to where we're going, somewhere in the world <laughs> that we've not been to yet, <clears throat> and we'll be doing a little live show from there, mainly getting content as well. Yeah. Uh, Midweek coming up, get involved. I know we've done um, previously. We've done uh, Amsterdam was the first one 
Yeah. And the only one we've done overseas so far. Mr. Jingle, thanks for your Twitch Prime for two months. I was going to do this last week, however, it wouldn't let me. No worries, mate. Thank you very much for the support, dude. I love John's uh, motion emotes. I think they're really cool. Um, voice levels are normally pristine, but a bit up and down today. Do you have auto compression? I have no idea what you mean. I don't think so. We're not bouncing off the limiter, are we, on the uh, the camera? We are on one or whatever it was on. Oh, uh, that might be better now. It's gone back better? up. Yeah, it's gone back up because of the uh, camera restart. Although I try to change it. How does okay. that sound? Does that is, sound better, guys? We may have been bouncing off the camera limiter. Tracy, thank you very much for the premium economy membership. Bing bong. Hope you're doing well. Might sound a little bit better now. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Don't be don't be uh, worried to let us know if something's not quite right. Cheers, Stephen, because that's that's obviously enabled us to hopefully fix that now. Yep. And quite a good, uh, I'd say quite a good bit of feedback. That actually, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. Uh, well good described. Not, yeah, well described. It's kind of put our head towards the issue straight away. Yes, the Emirates A380, the biggest passenger aircraft in the world. World, world. Yeah. Watching it live. So I think the A380 is overrated. Give me a 777 any day. Really? I don't know, dude. I mean, both of them are really cool planes. What's the best way to know your schedule, E. Peterson? Um, Facebook, I'd say. Yeah, um, we obviously post... Uh, on the day before the schedule for the next day in terms of when we go live so the you know the scheduled live stream on youtube um but it's pretty much every friday and sunday unless we're doing otherwise mm -hmm. and yeah this tuesday coming and potentially this wednesday as well are the two the wednesday is probably the most likely day if it was going to be one of them yeah but tuesday as well we'll try and aim for but yeah we streamed um i think it was october i think it was that we went to amsterdam uh, did a show from uh, we had two shows from Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, which was interesting. It was an interesting airport, an amazing view. But we only caught arrivals, which was a bit of a shame. I want to go back and get departures because I think they'd be more entertaining, personally. Yeah. You know this ATC issue. Yeah. So Ofcom, I think the way Ofcom discuss it right is that you cannot broadcast without the person's permission yeah everyone's permission <laughs> yeah i suppose oh yeah because i was going to say yeah i suppose that's only 50 percent of the permission i was going to say i wonder if we contacted nat and said showed them the channel and said look this is can we include atc and they said yeah but well, then you'd have to contact all the pilots mm. and the companies on you i guess I don't or know, would yeah. it just fall under nats because maybe, they're in yeah. manchester's airport maybe it's worth even asking them you know like because that could be if, if they I don't know maybe they watch the channel or mm. if anyone watches the channel and you are from Nats and you have any sort of info you can email us that would be fantastic guys um, but we may reach out yeah I mean I think it's actually worth asking them you know yeah because they might be quite clued up with that with that with that uh, particular law the MSA 380 is just on its way down to Juliet 1 Now I'll be rotating off to wrap the show up today, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed today's show. Yeah. Thanks yeah, we'll, so we'll wrap things support. up after this. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out as, as well. Feel free to leave a tip for us. Uh, we'll be live again on Sunday. Sunday's our biggest day, so make sure you tune in. Half ten in the morning, UK time, we'll be live here at Manchester Airport. And feel free to become a member, of course. If you become a member today, get yourself involved in the VIP lounge. Highly important you do so. And like I said, I'll be putting updates from probably Monday about where I'm going to be going in the world for the midweek show. Yeah. Airlines yeah, you live. can go to Live ATC, but that's American. Yeah, there's no UK. It's different law for the UK. Here it is again, the grip test. Let's have a zoom in, shall we? Let's see if we can see it. 
So yeah, you've got like the spray, and then immediately after you got like... There's probably that wheel in the middle, isn't it? The one in the middle, yeah, looks like it is static, isn't it? Interesting. That's cool. Interesting little device. <laughs> Interesting, eh? Mm. That is something we've never seen on the channel before. Yeah, the runway in use today is 2-3 right. Runway 1, it's known as. Which is the northmost runway. Yeah, a couple of people in the chat saying they've never seen that before. Yeah, that's a grip test, apparently. We got educated via the chat. Where they test the grip levels of the runway when it's wet. So that is a, a, a contraption that does that. Kind of cool. A380 going around the so-called roundabout, as we like to call it. Looks like a taxi. <laughs> Thank you, Louise, just saying great professional content. Airline is live, provide. Um, Tony McCall saying the law is that you are not supposed to receive any radio communications that is not specifically intended for you. Covers ATC taxis police. I'm sure there's a consent thing, though. There's like a... I mean, yeah, you know. I'm sure there is a clause for consent, but the thing is that... The weird thing is, that's fine if that's the rule, but scanners are just not policed in the slightest, so... Yeah. It's, and you can actually buy scanners in shops. Yeah, because I'm also sure the rule isn't about broadcast. It's about just, like, listening as well. Yeah. I'm so sure. I'll have to like, uh, um, read it up again to make sure I'm not wrong there, but... I do... I do I, we, we've looked at this before, basically. We've read the the actual prints of the law and uh, just to see if it was something that we could possibly do and I don't I don't think it ever was no good fixings nice to see you on the stream mate thanks for tuning in and, and there uh, we go. here we go guys A380 lining up final departure for the day on the Friday show I hope you've all enjoyed it yeah and hope you'll have an amazing in. weekend as well wherever you are whatever you're doing if you're getting out make sure you wrap up warm if you're in the UK or in uh, somewhere cold or if you're in the Canary Islands um, I'm jealous <laughs> Cheers, Rich. Glad you enjoyed it, mate. Yeah, it is an old rule, though. You know, mm. many countries don't have it, including the Netherlands, and I believe the US as well. Here we go. King of the Sky is now rolling. That's probably the earliest I've seen it rotate for a long time. No waiting around. Straight out on it. <laughs> Means you can follow it for a little bit longer. Great sound as well today from the 380. There you go, the full climb out of Manchester Airport on its way to Dubai. The super jumbo that is the king of the skies. And I'll be making a right turn very shortly. Yeah, usually there it wraps it is, around. just starts its turn now. On the clear days, you can watch them all the way out, can't you? They wrap around. Yeah. And then they fly around the back of the, uh, the RVP. Obviously out of view now, just because of the Concorde hangar. How long have you guys done this? Uh, five years. Great, we're into our fifth year now, I believe. Yeah, a lot has changed. Especially in terms of the production. <laughs> Could you wait for the Malta Air 737 Max? Where is it? Um, yeah. I mean, we have caught it a few times on the channel, I'll be honest, but... Yeah. 
We could do. We could do, I suppose. Yeah, let's wait around. Get a yay or nay for the Malta Air, guys, if it's something you want to wait around for. It's currently about, it says 20 minutes out. Yeah. That'd There's be literally nice. nothing else on the ground pinging now at the moment. I, so think, I, I think, think it'll literally just be waiting for that. Yeah, we might as well go away and come back in 20 minutes. <laughs> Personally, I'm not too fussed, to be honest, because it's just like, it's just a 7-3. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed today's show, though, everyone. We'll be live again on Sunday, like I said. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to get a notification as to when we go live. Yeah. Huge shout out to the mods who have done a really good job today. Moderating the chat, keeping us all entertained and informed in the chat. All good. Yeah. Urgent issue. I think she thought I'd finished. All right. Uh, Jeffrey tuning in from Toronto, Canada. Nice to see you, Jeffrey. Hope you're doing well. No, Lee Davies. You know exactly what you're doing here. What's Lee Davies doing? Send us a virgin to her after that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, guys. It's it's. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a look. There's nothing pinging on the ground at the moment. I mean, I'm down to uh, to call it there, to be honest. <laughs> but the next 15 minutes is going to be pretty dire. Back, what did I miss? Alison, how long have you been gone for? That's the question. Yeah. Dutchworks, nice to see you over on Twitch, dude. Hope you're well. So I just checked my lottery ticket. It was only six numbers off winning the jackpot. Oh. <laughs> God, that was close. Close, then. How many numbers are there? Seven. <laughs> and Nate saying thanks, everyone, for being so welcoming today. Amazing community here on Airliners Live. Nice one. Cheers. And uh, Trey, welcome to you. Tuning in from Jacksonville, Florida. Hope you're doing well. Daddy wants his chips. <laughs> I'm not too bothered, to be honest. Yeah, we'll we'll wrap it on the Malta, guys. That'll be the final arrival. And if uh, there's quite a lot of yays in the chat, to, to I think there's always going to be yays in the chat because when we say, "Do you want to see this plane?" <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone's going to say nay. But. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's not many movements. Um, apart from this inbound, guys, there's nothing on the ground and there's nothing else on approach. Um, but it is only about 10 minutes away, so it's, it's not long to wait. Yeah, I think about two, give it two more weeks, I think, until it starts to really pick back up again. Uh, and then in March as well, I think it will get pretty busy. Jackson Britton, thanks for the three months of VIP membership. Really appreciate that. Cheers, Jackson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Heading over to runway two now, I think. There's an aircraft on approach, though, which isn't on radar. You got filters on or something? No. Well, yeah, I've got a Manchester filter on. So maybe it's just a biz jet or something. And well, there we go, got a surprise extra bonus, super special, amazing aircraft. It's got to be a biz jet, I think. Yeah, weird that it's not showing up. Is it showing up for you? Nice private jet on finals as Lee. <coughs> Should be here. Like, hello? <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Have you turned your filters off as well? Yeah. All right. Oh, that'll be it. There it is. Pinging up now. It's got a little logo as well. My body, a Challenger 605. Inbound from Chambry. 
Vistajet Malta, there we go. Oh, okay, so we saw this um, on the last show. And uh, Jim Sefton is now enjoying the red tail in the chat. Is he? Well done, mate. Spam that red tail. Jackson Britton, thanks for the £2 super chat. Bing bong. Thanks for the year of support, dude. Thank you so much. Wait, is he at 12 months? Oh, he's at 14 now. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, definitely got it. Because I don't think you get it till 13 months. Look at that bird, man. What's this bird, guys? I've not seen this before at the RVP. Look at it. It's cute. Cool, isn't it? Yeet. Yeah. Should we give him a pot pie? <laughs> it's like wagging its tail as well. Yeah, he wants some food, but he's not getting it. You can't feed birds near an airport. He's cool though, isn't he? He's cool. Like, dead confident as well. Mm. Yeah, stand on my finger there, mate. <laughs> What'd you do if you just flew on my finger and I was like... Yeah. Flew on the lens and no one believed us. <laughs> Pretty mad, that, isn't it? It's a pied wagtail, says Jake. There pied you go. wagtail. A pork pied wagtail. <laughs> <laughs> Quite chunky for a wagtail, though, isn't it? Cause I've mm. seen wagtails before, and they're usually a lot thinner than that. Or the ones I've seen have been. Look at him, he's just sat there. He's, sat, he's literally just lay down then. He's loving it. Must be his regular gaff, this. Hey, he's... Look at him. He's actually sat down. He's not on his feet anymore. He's just sat in the mud. He's... He's cool, cool isn't he? Watching the planes. He is watching the planes. Look at him. He's not on his feet, guys. He's just sat down. Ah. Well, that's cool. This challenger just there. Uh, yeah, Jen's saying it. Wagtail as well, yeah. Yeah. Chillaxing indeed. Rob, thank you very much for the premium economy membership. Bing bong. Welcome, Rob. Cheers, Rob. I like that. Yeah, it is mad. I do need to change a battery in before this uh, Malta air comes in. Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that soon. He's chilling, isn't he? Hey, he's super happy, isn't he? <laughs> super chill. That Jack sucked a few of his friends into the engine a few times. <laughs> Don't tell him that, Mozart. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, he sat there now. Mate, he's chilling. He just, mate, he legit just yawned. Look how cinematic that looks as that well. That looks pro, doesn't it? I know. Yeah. <laughs> just sat down, innit? <laughs> how good does that camera look, though? Madness. Get some 4K clips. Right, I'm going to change the battery. No engines on that one. So yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> right, so actually the Malta Air, to be fair, is now on approach. Yeah. What is pinging on the ground, though? <laughs> there is a Virgin Atlantic <laughs> A330, and it's already pushed, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll, that won't be too far away. No. From the, we'll, we'll stick around for that. We've got yeah. a 3.30 departure, ladies and gents. So, well, what, we'll stick around for that. We've also got the Air Lingus A320. Um, from before, so this is now flight 205 to uh, back to Dublin. Where's his spotting? <laughs> He's zooming on that bird, he whips out some binoculars. <laughs> 7D Mark II. <laughs> <laughs> what lens he's got? He's not on radar yet. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he's after some scan, isn't he? What's some RVP chips? Oh, right, nice. 
Right, I'm going to change the battery, ladies and gentlemen. You see so people on the flat on their hand and everything, don't they? We will return back to bird camp momentarily. I know, well, we've got some big birds going out soon. 3.30. Treat for putting these pegs, round pegs, and all sorts of. Mad, isn't it? You won't you even think it, would you? No, no. Well, we don't give them enough. No, no. There you go. We'll be back on. A330's taxiing as well. Lee Davies is probably a very happy man right now. God. In Germany, Wagtail. I, I, I don't even know. I don't, I, I'm a bit cautious about reading words out because I don't know whether 100% I'm being told the truth. But is it just me or does everything in German sound angry? <laughs> <laughs> like even kids, kids. Yeah, what's, what's learning the, to count? Uh, like, ah, it's all right, mate. Relax. Sorry. What's, the, what's the word for um, <laughs> for uh, airport in German? Does anyone in the chat know that? It's a bit of a meme, isn't it? It's like airport, airport, or yeah. <laughs> You know, and it's just like the German. German is like, all right, mate. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We need Liz around for this. I can't see your arms in the way. Do you want the, the remote? Oh, I got him. New channel Oops. named Bird Watching Live. You guys know it. You guys know exactly what's up. I mean, this is pretty cinematic, right? Yeah. Hey, we didn't we didn't spend almost two grand on a camera for nothing, eh? You know what I mean? It's mad. I've just never seen a bird like just sit down like that before. Like, obviously they do, isn't it? But that's here at the RVP. You mean it's just like dead confident. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Well, we might as well. There's nothing else happening. Let's see what he's up to. People tuning in like this. Manchester Airport. What? Do get Lucky Bing and Bong aren't on site. Yeah, they'd be chasing him, wouldn't they? Yeah, that wouldn't end well, would it? Zoom right into his head. Oh, oh he's, oh, he's, he's, he's got like cam that. camera shot. There you go, look, he's wagging his tail. Oh, yo, he's sat there now. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Why is he sat there? Do you reckon he's just waiting for food, do you think? Yeah, he's kind of looking at us. He's floating around us, isn't he? Oh, yo, come on, come on the bench. Come on, the bench. Come on, lad. Oi, oi. How have you done this? Oh, right, okay, okay. <laughs> Imagine, mate, if he landed on my hand, that would pop off, wouldn't it? That would be, like, the biggest clip of the year, that. Live stream fails, right? It's like, yo, here you go, guys. Malta Air is coming. Yes, there it is. I can see it on, uh, on approach. Nice. Can we get a focus on us? Yeah, we can. I didn't give it any food, guys, just to be clear. Nah, we don't feed birds here. It's uh, picking up, like, crumbs and stuff off the floor. Yeah, it seems to like this new this new gravel stuff, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's probably because it can, like, dig into it a little bit. I don't like how cinematic that looks, though. It does look super cinematic, <laughs> doesn't it? That's what I try and do when I do my uh, wildlife photography is always have a bit of ground in the foreground. Yeah. So it, it like, blurs it out. It, like, tails off dead nice. I did that with uh, the robin in the snow. So I had the, the, uh, it was kind of like slightly uphill, and uh, I had some snow in the foreground. It just like milky white blend, and it just pin sharp on the island. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do miss the wildlife photography. I must admit. Right. Virgin A three thirty, off to New York. There's that distinct three thirty howl. You could probably just about hear. Cool shot there with the ops vehicle in the foreground as well. Cheers, Alex. Glad you're enjoying the show. Bit of a sense of like perspective there. A sense of, a sense of uh, size, sorry. John saying the pied wagtail must be the easiest bird to photograph as they, uh, as they stay still for so long. They're usually on river banks, uh, on rocks, not watching planes. Yeah, John. So when I was in Wales, um, I stopped at this uh, in the mountains and there was like a river passing through. And um, there was two or three of them there just sat on the rocks as well, and I was photographing them. A lot thinner than that one, though. 
I think they had a lot more of a golden, a gold yellow stripe on them. The right. ones that I saw. Here we go, Motorhead just touching down. 3.30's on the way out as well. Yeah, we'll wrap it up after the 3.30. Yeah. The thing is, though, today, like, I'm not in any, like, big desire to finish the show. It's mainly just because the traffic's died. Yeah. And especially, like, today, it's not too warm, but I'm really comfortable right now. Like, I yeah, can stay I'm here. Happy, yeah, I'm Usually stay for longer, but there's just literally nothing moving, guys. It's painful. Painful, dude. Hopefully it picks up very soon. Because I don't know what's caused it, because we've been in the pandemic for a while now. No, nothing really has changed that much in recent weeks. And yeah. yet, in the last few weeks, we've seen a massive drop-off. Obviously, January, like, is a bit slower in traffic anyway. Yeah. But, like, the drop-off we've seen, like, it's almost like half what it was before. Grey Wagtails have the yellow on them. All right, John. Yeah, nice. The reverse is just retracting there out of the engine. 737 max. Lovely accent of yellow on the wing tips there. It's a very modern looking plane, this. Mm. Livery is very modern. Yeah, it does look smart. Yeah. There he is again. Oh, he's having that. Someone's put a crumb on the floor there. And there we go, the Malta Air 737 Max. The last time you said you were wrapping it up, it then got really busy. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we should say that more often. Yeah. <laughs> Been live for an hour. Right, we're wrapping it up now. Let's <laughs> tell the universe that we'll wrap it up. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed the show today. Way over a thousand people watching the whole show, so we've really enjoyed your company. Cheers, guys. And obviously broke into 2,000 a couple of times. Hopefully Friday we'll see, uh, sorry, Sunday we'll see more of the same. And maybe we might even hit 35,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, that would be mega. It's a big number. Big number. Yes, if you're, not, if you're not liked the stream yet, make sure you give it a like now. This is the final departure of the day. I hope you all have an amazing weekend as well, whatever you're doing, whatever you're up to. Cheers, guys. Three thirty now rolling. There we have it, the Virgin Atlantic A330 flying off to John F. Kennedy Airport in New York. And that's going to wrap up the show today, guys. Don't forget to check um, later on for the new uh, the new merch. Shall we jump in front, lad? Shall we jump in front? Yeah. We got um, loads of new merch that's been announced on today's show. Uh, mugs are already available in the store. If you're a VIP and you want to get access to the VIP mugs, we'll let you know how to do that. Um, later on as well. We need to work out the best way of doing it. Um, 
the A380 new t-shirt and the Beluga t-shirt are going to be added to the store this evening. So they'll be available to purchase and we'll try and get some ordered in time for the, um, for the event next Saturday as well. Um, so yeah, we're super excited guys um, to get cracking on this. Thank you very much for all the merch orders that have come through on today's show. Really appreciate that. Yep. And uh, obviously all the support as well, guys. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, so right now go on over to airlinerslive.com or you can go to shop.airlinerslive.com to get a direct link to our web store. And right now we have the mugs are live. The VIP exclusive mugs are not live yet. We'll get them up later as well. Yep. And then obviously make sure you come down on um, the 4th, isn't it? The 5th. The 5th is the Saturday, so a week tomorrow... Uh, on the 5th of February, we'll be here at the Runway Visitor Park with a stand you can come and visit. You can come and meet me and Martin, and you can come and support the stand and buy some merch. And also visit the awesome memorabilia fair, because we won't just be there. There'll be loads of other awesome stands uh, and loads of great aviation-related memorabilia that you can get your hands on. And meet some awesome people there as well. So yeah. we'll be there, we'll be socialising, we'll be having a great time. Uh, and I'd highly recommend coming down for that. And stay tuned because next week we'll have a midweek show from somewhere else in the world. Yeah. I don't, I, I, even I don't know where it is. Or, <laughs> or do I? He says, even yeah. though he's booked his flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there um, you go. So, yeah, that'll be awesome. This is a really busy week coming up. So Yeah, next yeah. week's going to be uh, really busy, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're getting blown off the bench. We really We've been are. Airliners Live. And we'll see you on Sunday, 10 a.m for the Sunday show guys thanks for tuning in see you next time have a good weekend bye and stay safe